know, y'all, that's not my real voice. Cigar Hound Dog, DJ from Pick Jimmy, Master Your Ash, John from Cigar Alchemist, EKB from The Vintage Cigar. What you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe you can do anything? Thanks for tuning into the big broadcast. The bad broadcast. And now, the new wave presents the infamous smoke show. And we're live. We're live hey, with a hey. whole bunch of people. What up? All right, and our hey, guest buddy. tonight is Sanj Patel, and we got a surprise guest from Morgan Man. What's up, Sanj? I got, Big I, got Roger. A, I got about a minute drive, and then we're in a nice, quiet place. Then I'll fucking curse you all of you out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. It's a badge of honor. All right. Love it. Yes. Already What's got that, a ton of people in the chat here. What's up, everybody in the chat? Everyone's saying hi. Everyone's complaining yeah. that we're late because that's obvious. Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> Sanj got Jersey traffic. We're trying to give him some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you no, know. No, you know. I mean, we're speeding. You know, mill here is fucking cutting it. But the problem is because heavy rain, I couldn't think I wanted, you know, 100 and some of my boxes. And I have a pickup truck. <laughs> I took my daughter's Jeep. And, you know, it's a fucking Jeep. I never realized how much this thing is on the highway. Mills going about 110 miles an hour. Coasting. Be safe, son. Be safe, man. Yeah, it's all right. It's only like we all got to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Peter's up in here. What up, Peter? Yeah, Peter. I we saw got Eric up in here, too. You dog. Peter. All right, so no. what's everyone smoking tonight? Let's get to it. Who's going first? Ah. You know. I've, I've seen that like before. Beautiful. Doing the close-ups? Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit you up. <clears throat> what, what is this here, Matt? This is a uh, 2009? 2009 Red Light. Uh, uh, Love and Passion. My, my zero. Nice. Thank you, Saj. All right. Uh, throw Keelan up there. We got uh, the Solis and the Lux, so I'm gonna do a little bit of comparison while we on the show today. So. Do the do the Solis. Solis is nice thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's going. Cool. That's going cool first for sure. All right, what, what are the Wonder Twins doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is the original Love and Passion song said in the uh, show. Enjoy. Okay. Thank you, sir. 56. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Boo! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> and, and yes, Eric, I am in the same room. So I can, like, reach in. <laughs> no, that's yeah, we good. Got All what right. about PPJ? Right. What you got? Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm trying to do both. There you go. I got, I'm doing the uh, Factory 4. Is that what it is? Yeah, Factory Oh, four. yeah. That was nice. That was nice. Right. That's yeah, a, out. Thank you, Sanj. That cigar, that cigar originally was released in 2004, but made in 2004, and we got it in 2006. So that's mm -hmm. a that's a phenomenal stick. Looking forward to it. I right, enjoyed right, that one, Sanj. Good looking out. Uh, is everybody good right now? For now. Yeah, no. I'm trying to pick this right. Lancero in my tooth gap. It's not, not <laughs> quite fitting. <laughs> He's got to lube it up first. <laughs> <laughs> Our, uh, do we sound okay? Uh, do uh, Roger and I sound okay, DJ? Uh, you sound fine. Roger, say something. Do something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Where's, where's the? Is the mic just in the laptop itself? It's in the. It's in the. Okay, uh, so earbud. then it's 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 in Hound Dog's earbud. So you got to talk close to his face, oh, so, not like so you know. So he he he's a he doesn't have one. Then. No, that's the same thing that happened when uh, Michael had uh, Vlad with him, and then Michael Vlad went to the bathroom, and Vlad was talking, and it just went silent. Yeah. 
Same oh, issue. yeah, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't hey, no one here talking already. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. What up, Eno? I saw him. I saw him already. He popped up. I'm just going to skip down to the bottom because we got tons of people in here. Everyone's saying what up. Cool, cool. Mm. All right. So. Are we hear us? Uh, yeah, we can hear it. Kind of. What about there? What about, what about there? Still far it's a, it's it's the laptop now. Oh, okay. the laptop. I think uh, we're using like, uh, the mic. We can't hear you as well now, man. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll go back to was. Yeah, yeah, go back. It was a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. You know, Rogers just got to get a little close when he wants to talk. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what's okay. up about, you know what's fucked up about this whole situation? You got a fucking Indian on a show, but no fucking technical support. That's I right. We, we, got, we, no, we got nothing. <laughs> what the hell, Saj? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. You got the Indian and the California white boy, and there's no technical support. What's happening here, man? <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey. No genius bar here. So, uh, how boring is PCA so far? <laughs> uh, PCA was busy, man. It was. It was oh, God, I gotta go with my guy. Um, <laughs> it, it was uh, so such a night and day difference from PPE because they're so close together this year. So, like, everybody's out. Everybody's pinned the floor. I think that uh, it was pretty engaging to have Drew Estate back and a lot of the other big brands that had previously been at TPE only. I think that has a lot to do with it. So, uh, yeah, it was a busy day one, at least for me. Uh, these guys now, day two, we'll see like what changes, but um, I think it's going to be a busy weekend overall. You got to anything like any uh, new releases, anything like that's that's been uh, like okay, you know, this when when this really hit the streets, it's gonna be really good. Tasting anything that was gonna be well, I think that I was the only one out of the group. Uh, you, you were the only one. Okay, okay. These guys just these guys just drove in, but yeah, I just mean, like, there's definitely some some new stuff. Uh, you know, I interviewed Astania. I interviewed West Tampa. They have a new one, the Circle of Life. Um, and, and just everybody, everybody from Crown Heads to Warped, you know, I got a chance to, to look and see all the new stuff. <laughs> Warped has got a line that they're moving from the drop to regular production. So everybody will be available, I guess, to get it. And like just a, a whole bunch of stuff. Cavalier, of course, you know, stopped in, saw Brian and Sebastian. Like, you know, there's a lot of good new stuff coming out. So it was busy. Go, cool. go. Mm -hmm. I, I still haven't like processed all of it yet. Because <laughs> we just like grab Cigar Hound Dog, fly down here, see Rod, and like, you know. But I'm sure that as we go through the stream tonight, more and more will like pop in. And I'm glad you guys got Wendy's instead of in and out So I really appreciate you guys eating much better food than normal. I, that's that's the. You want to know Cigar Hound Dog? Was stepping about up your fast food, food game. We're very, we're very close. We're very close. Oh, the only no. reason why I went to why I took Cigar Hound Dog to Wendy's was because I thought we were going to save time because the line at In and Out was around the corner. And right. sure as hell, they asked us to pull around the front, forgot about our order, put his Dave's double in a completely different bag. I had to go inside. Uh, uh, yeah, man, you know what's that Felipe, bro. Felipe, what up? Felipe. Stay busy. Always, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not Camacho friendly. Whoa. Camacho. Oop, my bad. <laughs> I was adjusting mic settings. There you go. Sorry. Hey, and hey, Matt, you Matt, Matt you yeah, Matt, you're on mute. I can't unmute you because you muted yourself. There you go. <laughs> First of all, how, how was that? Uh, 
How was that old school Sash Patel though? I'm I'm kind of curious since I, I, I Japan boy doesn't get that. So I'm kind of <laughs> curious how that's taken. It's bomb, dude. It's really yeah. really good. My Michael, he's he's lining up the line zero of that. All right, so it's, 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 it's I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I know I'm talking smack, but I'm genuinely curious. Yo. What what you what you thinking? It's very it's very similar to the the current one. Just it's age. You could just you know it's it's a little bit more mellow, a little bit more smooth. Musty, musty, musty. musty in all right. way. Okay, I like it. So from the basement stash. I, yep. I, I always tell you guys, whatever you need, doesn't have to be my fucking SP. Any <laughs> cigar that you want, old one, new one, whatever the fuck is you want, smoke, just inbox me or, you know, most of you have my number, just text me. I don't mind sending it. Only thing I'm not sending shit is the Japan boy, Matt, that's your job. Them groups don't like me. This motherfuckers take all my packages. No, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. I understand that. I, I, I'll use the proxy. It's, it's all every, good. I don't know what Matt's doing, but every time he fucking sends you shit, you get it. And every time I try, I have a friend of mine, right? And I send no. him, and every time they take it. Yeah, no, I tried. I don't know, bro. I tried all the different avenues from Texas. They all got blocked. I'm gonna have to ask Matt what kind of magic link he has, but yeah. nope, they won't take turn it. Off that TV. You know, it's easy for me to just send it to one address. I, know, I, I don't even have time sometimes to take a leak. You know, yeah. so I, <laughs> and I know is I it okay it, to shut off the TV? It's going to everyone. If I send it to you, Kalen, you know, I don't know about that. Yeah. Nobody's watching. It. It's all right. I totally understand, man. So I, I wait sometimes, but you, 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 you've given me some great stuff. So like, I, I'm not gonna sweat you too much, but I am thinking about the, the old, uh, you know, SB 10 so That that does have me kind of like, oh, I want to see what that's about. That's perfect. What? What ever she does? Just you can feel free to leave that one, though. Even if it's not mine, you have to be like mine. Listen, I'm a smoker. You guys are smoker. I love to share. You know, I just send random shit because dude, I don't know what the fuck you know you guys in mood. But if you say songs, I really like this. You have more. Yes, I have more. If I have, you guys get it. It's about yeah. it's about the love of. Until now, I don't even know the after that. I didn't even know you still had those in reserve, man. That's just dope that you still got them from you know, your original run, man. That's super cool. Yeah, yeah. I got that shit. I mean, you know, I'll send you whatever you guys want. Any hand, if it's $5, it's in the I haven't. smoke it. That's all that matters. I think I haven't asked you yet because you sent us so much stuff already. But if you're telling telling us again, then I'll I'll take you up on it for sure. Yeah, I, listen, I'm fucking 50, 60 years growing ass motherfucking man. If I tell you once, it's just my time. What the fuck you don't get? <laughs> Love it, so I'm, I'm gonna ask you just like that soon. Like, hey, send me some of those fucking SB 1014s from 1990, whatever. Done. Just look, inbox me the list and I'll put it and then I'll send it to Matt because I'm not shipping you anything. <laughs> 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 it sounds like a plan. It sounds like a plan, man. No problem. Yeah, just <laughs> If I tell you this the we appreciate you, sir. Just the fact that you, it's not a lot of people that are in your position that for us as reviewers and, and, and as reviewers on these platforms, you really come through, man. And just the fact that you want to show with us, that, you know, you get really the experience of your cigars, man. So we appreciate you, bro. Listen, it's, to me, I always, you know, I get a lot of people complaining because they see Matt's video, they see your guys' video, you know, from the boxes. I don't send these cigars because I send these cigars because they smoke and they love smoking. You started your channel three months ago. You don't have anything. You don't have that. You're not going to appreciate it. So I'm That's not going to cigar. 
I said, but the way you develop your palate, come here or let me know, I'll give you whatever you want. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Speaking of, what's going on with the silver, man? Tell everybody about the, you know, silver. Where that's at right now, what can we expect? You're breaking up. I can barely hear you. Okay, well, I'll, I'll wait till you get to the shop. Stop that. I'll wait till you yeah, get to the shop. So. He said, he said, uh, four minutes. I got literally four minutes to get to the shop. Yeah. The chat would like to know about the SB1014 titanium butt plug, if you could enlighten us on that. <laughs> I caught that in the live stream yesterday. That was good. So, so yeah, it's funny. So we were fucking around, and this guy, Rob, is such a sweetheart, but he's so dry. Like, if you don't know him, you think he fucking hates you for no apparent reason. That's not the yeah. case. He's fucking simple-minded like that. I love the kid. You know, anything you don't like it, he goes, so the, uh, Angel said, he goes, what the fuck? You, you sound like you've got a butt plug. And then somebody says, you know, he's got a, uh, what do you call it, metallic butt plug or metal butt plug, whatever the fuck it was. So anyway, that's how that just started. I'll go to the next section. Yeah, that's good. good. That's that's comedy right there. I, I heard stuff man. about a, a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth butt plug as well. Yeah, so that, I don't that, know if that one was titanium though. Yeah. People started making comments. You should make yeah. a butt plug. You know, a cigar puncher. You should make a small little perfecto. Call it a you know butt plug. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. Look. You know, we wanted to do something for veterans, dogs, and we did Oreo. If I ever do something for LGBTQXY+, maybe we'll come out with, you know, fucking butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> You're breaking up. I can't hear nothing Kaylin saying. Oh, that's so tight. <laughs> good, man. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Man. Hey, Sanj, where are we at with the uh, the Zodi Zodiac Killer? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We, we're going to talk about this as soon as I get to the shop. Thanks okay. to you guys. You guys going to get me killed. If I die in, a, in, in October, <laughs> end of October, early November, somebody kills me, all five of you are responsible for it. <laughs> we're gonna come together for you like the Avengers. We got your back, man. We got your back. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, first of all, God ain't made that motherfucker yet. But you know, just in case, <laughs> you know, <laughs> never know. Oh, but yeah, that project man. is already that project is already uh, in the works. And wait until you see the boxes, the idea we're doing, everything is just gonna kill it. Hell yeah. Can't wait. Nope. Hell yeah. yeah it's gonna That's kill it. It's just um different fun, you know. So I'm gonna make uh twenty five hundred boxes, all boxes are numbered. We're gonna do it, you know, extra special. And just to show them and then you know, the name has to fit the occasion. Zodiac killer. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. I love it. God, you don't know. Like, I'm excited. Just the fact that you were with that idea, man. It, that, that made me excited. Yeah. And the, and the size and stuff we selected, oh, my God. People going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm curious, not, not man. Consumer, right. you know, not consumer. Not consumer. You know, so-called manufacturers. Thank you, sir. I'm curious as hell, man. I can't <laughs> wait. Can't wait. The boxes, boxes are killer. I mean, it's every answer that you could give it to this motherfuckers. We giving it to them. Very nice. Yeah. This, is this is something you know. You say you order for you to understand someone. You don't have to say you know. Even you just look at their expression and look at you know what they have. They move, and you're gonna get your answer. This is a silent killer. We're gonna We're kill. We're still them. doing good. Okay. Yeah. Anybody who has come out with zodiac calendar cigar, they're yeah. gonna be like, "What the fuck? Let's kill Sanj." <laughs> <laughs> I cannot well, wait. At this point, at how terrible every single one of them are, they're killing themselves. Like, yeah, but I, you know, no, 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 we, we gotta I put this in the middle. Like, 
30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. Yeah. Cigars. Yes. And, yeah. And then I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where are you coming up with these prices? And it's nothing special. At least look, yeah. Yeah. at least, at least in our, uh, at least in our Zodiac Killer, tobacco is very special. I'm going to tell you what tobacco we're using and stuff. As soon as I get, I got like three minutes. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it's and the boxes. You know, this time I'm investing money in a box. It has nothing to do with box, but without a box, I couldn't give them the full answer. Gotcha. Very cool. Now, now here's the big question for Keelan: Is is it going to have a band? You know. Yeah. Yes, you prick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what the fuck My is your obsession with the fucking band? If the cigar is good. Who gives a listen? Oh, whenever, it's I, great. It's great. whenever I smoke, you know, cigars, the first thing I do is I remove the band. Yeah, if, if, if anybody's, if anybody's gonna, I'm gonna have to take the band off and I don't care anymore. I don't know which one it is. Yeah, but listen, if you can see the fucking Connecticut and Cameroon, you see on the Cameroon, it has that green. Cameroon hates to it, so there's nothing fucking fucking blue and color to see that. <laughs> Man, I got a perfect light. I got to hold it up to the light. I got to smell it. Good night, man. That's true. Listen, if you, if you're, if you're, listen, if your cigar doing so good. If your 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 cigar is doing so good, I'm gonna be killing you about it, man. But I'm just teasing you right now because your cigar is good. If anybody's gonna kill Sanj, if anybody's gonna kill Sanj, it's gonna be Keelan over this band shit. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> they give him a heart attack. If they call me Japan boy, man, I gotta do something like that. All right. Yeah. You guys are fucked up. Kaylin, what the fuck? I need to know what is your obsession with cigar bands? <laughs> I, I'm a collector. You know what's the I'm a collector. <laughs> That's it. I, I just want to know if I'm black or Cameroon, it's a Cameroon. It's not a Hobart. That's, yeah. That's all I care about, bro. But if you, if, you about. Look at, if you look at the fucking color of the wrapper, you could see the difference. What the fuck? <laughs> How do you tell the difference between fucking government cheese and regular cheese? Don't tell me you never ate that government cheese, motherfucker. I know. I did. But the difference with that is like, when you cut government cheese, you need like a short length for that joint. Because that motherfucker doesn't cut and it don't melt. I know how to tell the difference. That's different. And they both got a label on it. It just, it just, it's a black package and it says government cheese. Yeah. That's right. I'm in the shop now. My man. Hell yeah. Yeah, anything's here. He ate a lot of fucking government cheese. Hell yeah, yeah. He's still here right now. What up? What up, Brett? You don't know that about no government cheese. Yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't. I don't. I know you fucking uh, 80 pounds, motherfucker. I know how you got that. <laughs> <laughs> Fat fuck. <laughs> Somebody, we were just at the event. And somebody said, "Why you call him fat fuck?" I think the motherfucker's got mirror in his house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Texas. That shit doesn't melt for nothing, man. You put that in three hundred and fifty yeah. degrees, four hundred degrees, and it still don't melt. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> what up, man? What up, yeah. dude? Uh, what up, dude? Man? How about those cowboys? Yo, you got you got you got the first guy. You got the first guy. I really want to talk to. So, yo, listen, listen. These my cowboys, are all right, man. But they're a bunch of bums. <laughs> they're a bunch of bums. Preach. Well, you with the right team, right? Man. Welcome back to the yeah. Smoke Show, baby. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. Them bum ass cowboys, man. But they, it could be worse. I could be. I could be like Michael and be a Giants fan. So we'll leave. We'll leave that there, though. Hey, no, you know, right now. You to hey, what you smoking? What's that? What you got? Uh, I'm smoking. Um, you know, I, I was uh, I was being a little bandwagoner, and, and I'm I'm following what what Michael and Matt are doing right now. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Uh, All right. I'm just saying. Do. Okay. I'm just saying. Just saying. You do have family. Y'all just throw that in my face. That's cool. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, he got us. He was sick he's of this man. Thank you, Texas. Yeah, it's actually two Super Bowls in the last 30 years. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all got a bit of an echo. You got to scoop that. Yeah, a little bit of lag. Yeah, someone, someone's. I already got reduced noise turned on on both y'all's. I can't help it any more than that. Oh, hold on, my bad, Sanj. I see you. That's okay. How about that now? Shut that TV off. Okay, we're good. Yes. That's, that's too high. That's too high. Okay. Oh, this solo is though. That solo is looking pretty damn good, Jack. Hey, we just lower that. Okay. How is that solo? Hey. Probably it's solid. Solid. Nice and woody, a lot of cedars, nutty, it's really good. Yeah, that that solace is a great stick. I dig it. Something, choice, something, something, something very much out of their character. Unfortunately, it's not doing too well, right? Because mm-hmm. you know, when you have that reputation that you're making, tell them to lower that. If you if you're making if you make like those pepper bombs, right? And then all of a sudden you come out with something. And now the, the, your your friend is expecting, you know, certain strength of that stick, right? And now you can yeah. provide. It's not that you can provide it. It's very different. And and you know, it's people don't buy it. Same thing happened with Fuente Casa um, uh, Casa Cuba. Nobody in the beginning was buying it because it did not say Fuente on it. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. Enough, though, man. Like you, you almost have to be a nerd to kind of figure out. Like you know, I got to try you, some things. What you got to do, man? You see, you see this color, Kalen? Put them yeah, glasses. Yeah. This is Connecticut, you cocksucker. Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'll take that one. You sure do? And the answer is every other week. So we'll be back in two weeks after we're three hours here uh, tonight. Yeah, Bye we week. check in with us. We all we always around. If we're not doing it in the show, DJ always got something going. Yeah. Michael, you know, John always got something going. We we always rocking, man. So yeah, every goes, two weeks is there from the smoke show. Subscribe. Go subscribe to the infamous smoke show YouTube channel, turn on notifications, it'll tell you whenever we go live. I brought down my audio DJ solo catch. Yeah, I, I'm assuming. It, I mean, you guys aren't feeding off each other anymore. No. Yeah, I've been, I've been adjusting the best I can. Kalen, where the fuck is that? Where am I? Oh, right there. Look, there you there you go. Go. Hold, on, hold on, I got Habano, you. Maduro, and fucking Cameroon. Look at the fucking difference. <laughs> you fucking blind fuck. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of brown. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Stevie <laughs> Wonder to see this. <laughs> those two, those two in the way, the, the last, the last two on the end are, are a little close, though. Yeah, yeah but I mean, yeah, if you, that's on the camera, right? But if yeah, you, yeah. if you, if you, if yeah. you live, you could see it. I got see? you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, yeah. I'm just giving you shit, man. I'm just giving you shit, man. I, I gotta, I gotta have you go off on me every now and then, man. It wouldn't be right. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying. Look, me going off. I'm challenging the fucking BLM motherfucker. See who comes here to protect your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. John's got some explaining to do. Oh, explain myself, <laughs> bro. Ask the text, right, John. Me. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. The weather, man. Each time has thrown me. No, you're good. Okay. I don't take it personal, but Peter. He's on it. Yeah, he's, like, I know. Yeah. I know. I said he's I'm sorry. It. You know, I was too late putting in my request to Texas weather to not, you know, fuck up our cigar <laughs> shop. <with> my bad. And I don't have a luxurious smoking anti, you know, weatherproof, soundproof smoking tent, you know, that Peter has. Right. So. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Peter's like an X Man, yo. He's got a command to it. So you got the rebro. <laughs> Someone said, "I only have good weather." Tell, when it's one of you guys that's monetized. Thank you, thanks for, the, thanks for the super chat, man. Appreciate it. An ice fishing tent, yeah, probably. 
All right, Stas, what were we asking you earlier, man? We were asking you about the uh, the silver there. What, what's, what's the word on the silver? So silver bands are being put on as we speak. I mean, not now. The fucking uh, Dominicans probably sleeping by now with the fucking, you know, a few sorbetas, you know. But uh, bands are being done. Matt's in the band. I send him the picture. Uh, oh, that's great. Boxes, boxes are being done, you know, as we speak. And then we're hoping they're going to pack everything up. So we're hoping to have everything done by end of this month. And then they'll ship it. And then hopefully by 10th of next month, you know, that week, second week, we want to, you know, assuming everything goes as planned, right? So okay, yeah, yeah. most likely end of next month, Antra is boxes are done, band, they were supposed to deliver the band Monday to the factory. So they'll be done. And then Charisma, Charisma's done, bands are done. Uh, they're doing the boxes as we speak, right? So I think that everything's going to end up coming at one fucking time. I guarantee you. Okay, yeah. I, dude, dude, the first time I talk to you, I've been excited about getting that charisma, bro. So I'm, I'm really hyped about that one. Which one? Maybe one. The, the charisma, the charisma. Yeah. That's the one I'm most excited about. Yeah. So, you know, as soon as I have it, I'm going to send Matt, you know, and you better, you know, you cocksuckers better give Matt a nice uh, Christmas present because all the fucking shipping he's doing. We tried. We tried, man. Right, man. We, we yeah. tried. Him and he won't let yeah. us. We'll, we'll put something together. Yeah. 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 I got, I got one these. I got one these. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 soon, soon, soon as everything comes in, I'm gonna send out boxes. You know, for you guys, so you know you guys enjoy it, and that's all it's do. Do a review for that, man. I'm gonna do a review that to go, man. I'm, 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 man. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, for me, it's more important that, you know, it's more important that I'm giving cigars to someone who could, you know, truly give me their honest opinion. And I'm a type of guy, you know, I don't I don't want anybody to lie to me because by your experience, all I'm doing is learning. Right. So to me, I don't take that as an offense. You know, I always say criticism as a learning point in my life. So, you know, but. Um, let's go into the fucking you cock sucker. Where's uh Zodiacs? Zodiacs Zodiac oh, yeah. Before we yeah. jump into it, we're everybody that's joined. We're always smoking right now. So, uh, oh, yeah, hold on, hold on, my bad. I was waiting for a lull. Yeah. So, there you go, super chat. Everyone say what they're smoking again. Thanks, so much. Thanks, man. Around in a circle. All right. All right, so I got the Solus by LD, and I'm gonna compare it to the Lundox. That's what I'm gonna be smoking on today. So what's this going right now? Johnny boy. Got the uh RS88 Industry Killer Connecticut in Lancero. Very nice. Nope. Nope. RS88 Connecticut, Kaylin, fucking Connecticut, <laughs> Helen Keller. <laughs> what are we talking about that Connecticut? Dude? What else we got? This is the OG release of the SP1014 Red in my Cyrus. And uh, I'm going to have to start saving <laughs> and dashing my SP1014 Red in my Cyrus. They taste like this after like 15 years. Yeah. Money. It's ridiculous. All right. Got the Wonder Twins. Uh, same thing, but in Robusto. Uh, original release, Love and Passion in Robusto. Money so Very far. Nice. Knuckle so Sandwich you, 56. Good cigar. Good cigar. Very nice. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got the Factory Press 4. Look phenomenal. Yeah. Great Look at that, cigar. dude. Look at the way that stuff is burning, man. Damn, yeah. son. Looks good. Yeah. What whatever you guys want, if something I sent Matt or you guys, if you like it, please just feel free. It's only fucking cigars. You're not asking me for my blood. Hey, so I do want to give you a major shout out though. So she was talking about giving you an honest review. 
I like the uh, Oreos Tail Connecticut. I like the OG Connecticut better, but I took that thing out of the pack, and that was the best looking so I've had in a while, man. I mean, the thing burned like a razor. I, I didn't give it time to rest. I didn't sit in the humid. I didn't dry box it. I didn't do anything, and that thing smoked perfectly. Razor sharp yeah. burn line. Beautiful yeah. cigar on that Oreo Tail, man. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so look, we did a, you know, same thing, just like you cocksuckers gave me an idea for the fucking uh, uh, Zodiac Killer. I was on yes, uh, Ohio Ohio Cigar Mafia guys, and they were talking about, he said, you do so much stuff for veterans, but nobody ever does anything for, you know, veterans' dogs. And I'm like, what do you mean? So, you know, we learned, and I said, fuck it, let's do a project. So we, we did it. We had a... Uh, we had uh, 20,000 cigars, 10,000 Maduro, 10,000 uh, Connecticut, and then I have Habanos. So I sent uh, the small Oreo tail with that. We didn't put it in a pocket because the way we wanted to make it look like yeah. Oreo, black and white. But, you know, mm -hmm. this is black mm -hmm. in Connecticut. So it was just a yes. you know, fun concept. I used my dog. And then the flyer that we made, it, it looks like, you know, when your dog's the lost, and you put up a little poster. Yeah. You know, it was all done here on a piece of paper and, you know, one, two, three, and my guy printed it. And then all this shit came in and labels came in about nine o'clock at night. We labeled every single thing, every single time, like 430 in the morning. And yeah. then next day it just went and it sold and we sold out. We don't have any Oreo still at all. Three That's, days. Great, That's great. Three, three days we sold everything out and then. I think uh, last Friday we went on live and um, and uh, we donated money to a bunch of different uh, uh, places where they help dogs. And you know, in the process, there is a, uh, um, a charity called uh, K9 Valor, right? And then we contacted them, and the guy guy uh, gave us a site, and I said, let's do it. So. When I went on the site, it says Narcan unit. So I said, listen, wait a minute. I'm not giving no fucking junkie, no fucking money. Fuck that. Government gives it. So I told the guy, I said, yo, what kind of shit you put me onto? And he goes, no, no, no. He said, those Narcan shit. I said, why would I buy some junkie in Narcan, right? And he goes, no, 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 no. Actually, that Narcan kit is for the uh, canine dogs. And I'm like, wait a minute. Junkies get free can cat, uh, kits, right? But if you're a dog, veteran dog, you have to pay for it. Whoever is the handler pays for the can kit. Oh. It's fucking government. Whoa. So I learned, and you know, I actually felt, you know, I felt, you know, very bad that, you know, I doubted the guy. And I'm like, man, this is crazy. So, you know, we bought them, we bought them five years with the no can cats because when the dog sniffed something, they could get OD too. I mean, I never thought of it. Yes. I, I never yeah. thought about that, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, you know, it was wow. a learning yeah. thing for me, right? And I'm like, this yeah. is, like that's crazy. So, wow. you know, it, it, was, it was a fun project. I had a great time doing it. And, you know, the beautiful thing about that, we, some people say they like Maduro equally. We got, if you have to take a, you know, even opinion, we got all these yeah. opinions. It's like some like Maduro, some like Connecticut, some like Habanos, but we yeah. didn't get a single person say they didn't like the cigars. And then like make it again. Some people say make the Maduros. I said no, that stuff is for special stuff, and that's what we're gonna use it. So you know maybe you know if I have any friends in the future, you know LGBTQXY plus, we might make a butt plug out of it. <laughs> do, do that. Hey, let's, let's, get, let's get them some great, great cigars and butt plugs, man. I'm here yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I, you know, it was, it was a learning thing for me. And you know what? It was such a good thing. You know, my kids were involved in it. You know, Mario, uh, everybody, everybody here is like one big family. We work until like, yeah. you know, Thursday, labeling stuff. Yeah. We work until like 5 30. Yeah. And it was, it was a fun time for me. And now you put something in my head. I was watching you, and you guys talking about San's got to come out with Zodiac Killer. Where guess what? It's already in the process. My man, oh, man. 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 So I talked. 
I talked to Matt. We designed two kind of box, but I'm going with the second design, Matt. So the box is going to be, you know, that Chinese red with yeah. every gold zodiac sign, 24 karat gold zodiac sign. And then the industry killer face will be right on top of it, like whole length of it. Yeah. Box is a zodiac <laughs> Hell yeah. That's, yeah. Right. That's sick. And then, and then the band inside in the cigar. It's a red band with the gold uh, face, and one side says Zodiac, the other side says Killer. Okay. That's sick. Twelve That's count sick. boxes. Twelve count boxes. We're gonna try to get it. You know, it's not a money thing. It's fucking fun thing. So twelve count boxes will be hundred dollars. Twelve count for hundred dollars. Dude, come on, yeah. man. That's and guess who? Zodiac well, cigar right there. This is, this is nothing. Look at look look at the shape I'm making. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Six, oh, yeah, exactly. six, six and a half inch by fifty six. You know the fro pig. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Had the savage uh, savage beast that size, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all in that size. Dude, hell yeah! All right, I'm gonna promote the my man uh, size. I, you, so did, did you have an idea? You did all that in like what? It was uh, maybe a month or two. You put yes. all that together. Yeah. But you know the the beautiful thing about us, we have so you know. Look, it's no no secret the tobacco that we're using. So actually, I have two plants. I don't know uh, which direction to go. So we're actually looking to do like 12, 12 count box, three Maduro, three Habano, three Connecticut, and three Cameroon, same size, or just go with one. You know, so if I go with one. I'm going to combine the tobacco of Oreo Maduro and SP Blunt. Mm. Hell yeah. Awesome, son. Oh, I, I, I think they should get a little bit of all the flavors, man. They should, they should taste all the different flavors you got. The Cameroon is banging, the Maduro is banging. Yeah. Give them a little bit of everything. Yeah, so, you know, I figured if you do like, you know, uh, three of each, 12 cigars, that'd be perfect. Yep. Yeah. That's just and a good for the community right, right there. And and hundred and twenty dollars a box, ten dollars a stick. Fuck yeah, my man. Sick. Appreciate Absolutely. that one, Stars. That that's brilliant. Love all it. cigars because are drug tested. All all cigars are drug tested. All cigars gonna weigh almost thirty six uh thirty six to forty grams. Huh? And if they gonna smoke like that uh Connecticut Oreos tell dude, they in for it. The whole zodiac. Yeah. Everybody's so jumping I, on that I, stupid I, wagon. I should, I should have the samples of the uh, Oreos. I mean, not Oreos, no, the Zodiac Killer by Monday or Tuesday. So I'll send you. I, I know I have like uh, 50 of them coming. So I'll send you guys. I'll send it to Matt. And you guys just, you know, smoke it. Absolutely, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you, son. Thank you. You're not wait, dude. Kill that whole zodiac. I just hated everybody was jumping on the same train instead of coming up with a new idea, doing something that was gonna be from the heart. Everybody just jumping on this stupid bandwagon. It's the dumbest yeah. thing in but, the world. You know, so, and and you know the name fits right. Zodiac killer, industry killer, yeah, zodiac dude. killer. So you know, it's oh, perfect. Gosh. And then the artwork that we're doing is all the zodiac sign with the big face of ours, you know, in gold. Yeah. And underneath just simply says, you know. Um, so we're going to use two fonts. We're going to use English as Zodiac Killer, or we're going to use Chinese as Zodiac Killer. <laughs> That's <sick. laughs> That's I'm so well, glad. Super yeah, tight. so I mean, you know, it's, a, it's going to be fun project. We already ordered the boxes. We ordered 2,500 boxes. So I want to launch it in October. <clears throat> Before everybody so anybody that's not following Sash Patel, follow Sash Patel's uh, Smoke Shop. Follow, you know, SB 1014 and follow the infamous smoke show because we help put that idea out there to the world so you guys can smoke some, in, uh, not industry, but smoke the industry Just too. But smoke the perfect show. segue to this. We can't answer that question on YouTube, but I'm sure you could hit Sanj up on Instagram. Yep. Yeah. Sanj, will, Sanj will, will let you know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Sanj, who, uh, who are you working with uh, for the Zodiac Killer? That's what I was just going to say. Great question. ED. Okay. Beautiful. Whoa. Beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> sick. It gets better the more you talk about it. It gets better and better. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's the thing. That's Listen, ironic. It's, it's very, life is very simple, yeah. right? If you give somebody something, make sure it's good enough for you, right? If you feed yeah, a homeless yeah. person, make sure you could eat that same food. Don't don't eat fucking steak and buy homeless guy fucking McDonald's. You know, yeah. it's just yeah. Don't buy it's just it. Never give it homeless people in and out. Give them something better yeah. than that. So yeah, give it yeah, absolutely. Come on, you fucker. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> yeah. So, so, the whole so funniest thing. So two weeks, uh, uh, about a month and a half ago, my thirteen-year-old son. He said, "Papa, I want to get into Cologne." So I said, "Okay." So I, I'm teaching him stuff. Then, you know, I send him out. He goes out, buys all high-end colognes. I says, great. So uh, a week ago, he says, you know, I have to start wearing jeans and polo shirts and button-down shirts. I said, yeah, you know, you're a man. So he says, Papa, I need a nice watch with it. I said, honey, go in my whatever you want. Use my watch. He goes, I don't like any of them. They're too big. I said, what do you want? He goes, I need simple watch. I said, okay. I bought him his first watch. Mm -hmm. Bought him the best. I bought him Patek so Philippe. Oh, yeah, yeah. no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Now, it's awesome. I, I, bought him the, oh, yeah. I bought him the cheap version of it, Calvatana. Nah, that's cool. That's a good start right there, man. He's going to build a nice collection after that. He's going to go with the yeah, yeah, yeah. after that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I want him to get... Uteron Constantine has a beautiful watch, you know? So, yeah. you know... Uh, Brigade had the beautiful watches. IWC. I told him to take I, this one. I told him to take this one. This is my dad's brigade. Yeah. Beautiful. You can see it working too. You see, you see the uh, the spokes in there working and everything. Nice, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. That movement there. That's sick. Yeah. Nice. That's clean. Sorry, yeah. That's clean. Super clean. What, what kind of cologne did he get? Did he, did he get like a uh, Did he get why? Why? He he actually so you know a lot of people oh, don't know about me. I I blend my own colognes, right? So yeah. I bought him a lot of stuff. So he went out. He liked he liked. I I put a lady my buyer. I said you know whatever he needs. So he spent the day with her. He came home with a lot of like uh he liked uh, uh Creed. He liked. He liked uh, Giorgio Armani. He liked the uh, new one from John Paul Gaultier, the uh, blue bottle that you can yeah. buy. In the he didn't like any of the Creed product. He liked Joe Malone, uh, but he, he was more towards a lot about uh, Joe Malone and uh, and uh, uh, Tom Ford. Tom Ford is good too. My wife bought that for me. That Tom Ford is is, is fire. Yeah, yeah. So he bought he bought a lot of custom blends and he's happy. He's got like twelve bottles so far. Good. Wow. That's good. Awesome. Yeah. So out of like the stuff that you got going right now between the audio tell, the charisma. Audio tell is done. Yeah, yeah, I know, but like the stuff that you've been working on, the stuff that you put out recently, what's what's been your favorite so far? What's been your favorite out of all the things that you've been working on recently? You know, it's a fair question, but it's going to be very difficult. It's like asking a father, you have three kids, which kid is your favorite? Yeah, yeah, you know, true. So, but you true. know, but again, I could tell you, you know, my 18-year-old thinks he's my mother. My my sixteen year old thing, she just thinks you know she could rule the house. And my son is like happy go lucky. So you know it depends on the mood. But I, I really, I really, really on the Oreos tell. I really enjoy the Habanos, which not many people got it. The way we did it, if you bought two packs, we give you five free. So if you bought two packs, so you 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 are twenty cigars. You got five free for one forty. That's five dollars and sixty cents a cigar. Yeah, yeah you're a bad man, son. You know, and and it, it, that's our thing. I mean, listen, you know, I always tell. I had a conversation the other day. I was with uh, live with Pete Johnson, and you know, we were talking, and you know, they just they hit my guts. All the industry guys hit my guts. 
Oh, they really gonna hit you after this uh, Zodiac killer. I, I love it. I love it. I hope it. That's okay. Make them all that. Make them all that. That's okay. You know, they could hate me. Hate is a nice thing. <laughs> Were you saying I'm not trying to push it, but were you saying even even Pete was hating? I'm sorry. Are we saying even Pete was hating? No, no, no. I mean, you know, there are few guys in industry are you know more friends than business guys. So Pete's one of those guys. I mean, Pete's a sweetheart. No, no doubt. No. I saw um, <clears throat> we got to try the uh, yeah. new coffee. Oh, no, no. Oh. Yeah. Um, everybody that, that tried it so far, I didn't try it today, but it looks gorgeous. And everybody said that it's unlike yeah. a lot of Tatuaje cigars. Yeah. As yeah. Late. So it's like yeah. a brand new kind of thing. Yeah. 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 He's got a lot of nice stuff, man. You know, John has a, you know, from crown head has a lot of nice stuff, you know? Um, well, that's, that's actually going to be number two to follow this up with is the yeah. Enduro. Maduro, yeah. Nice. You know, my, my favorite from John is the La Pastoria. I can't pronounce the fucking gay French name. I call <laughs> him. So what the fuck were you thinking when you put that name? You know? Yeah, everybody struggles yeah. with that La Pastoria. I know I've messed it up a ton of times. So, yeah. Not the only one. I, just call, I just call it pastry. That's it. Yeah. The, yeah. Corona, the Corona is my favorite size, favorite cigar. It's a killer, dude. That thing yeah. is so good. And yeah. the, the Cajon, uh, 2012 was really good. So I'm curious about the new one that, that just got released, too. That's, yeah. Is it 2024? Yeah. Hey, Sanj, I was thinking about your uh, your LGBTQ cigar. You know, you're familiar with the Drew Estate egg, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> there you go. That, that will be, listen, you have to understand. You are Matt, Matt, Matt. You have to understand. <laughs> this fucking faggots will call us pencil dick motherfuckers if we make fucking, you know, nine and a quarter by 48 ring games. They want fat, big, big fucking thing. You say egg. That thing has like an 80 ring gauge, right? Has anybody here? Has anybody smoked that? Anybody Has anybody smoked that? Yeah, no. I've, never, I've never smoked an egg. No. I, got I, I, never, I, smoked I haven't smoked it because it's shaped like a fucking butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. Just say it. Bro, at, the, uh, at, at PCA today, they had uh, a booth where there was like, a, you know how like the missile launcher has a stand that you can yeah. like rotate? So they had that for uh, a home record for like a 990 or, or oh, wow. 10 by 100, it, like seated where the missile would be. And they were just like, yeah. how it could hold up the cigar and you could just put it to your mouth and smoke it. No, I'm cool. No, thanks. <laughs> so ridiculous. I'm good. I'm good. I'm cool on that, Jack. You know, all, you know, all this stuff happened when you run out of ideas, right? And yeah. you, know, yeah. you come out with stupid, silly shit, right? Stick yeah, to pay attention to what you known to do and you know give your hundred percent and you know just stop fucking fooling people. Yeah. What's what's pretty cool yeah. about that is that like you're not you're not scared to, to put out a variety of different cigars though. I mean you stand within your lane, but you, you have you have a really good Maduro, you have great Connecticut, you have you know great Cameroon that's killing everything right now. And you're not afraid to release these cigars. You, you got new cigars coming that's got a different profile. You're not scaring your your market away, though. You're not scaring your consumer away either. At the same time, man, how, but, how do you go about that? Do you, do you, is there well, a here's the thing. That? First, first of all, afraid of who? I don't think your, your consumer, because like we were saying before, like you know, some of these guys, like with the the the, the, the uh, when you were talking about the thing. And they did the Casa Cuba, and people were like, they didn't know what's for one thing, so they were kind of staying away from it. So they were just going, they were shopping strictly by the name of the cigar. You know what I'm saying? They're not that. So that is our goal, right? That's why I don't want to put bands on the fucking cigars. I don't want to do any of it because you, know, you have to, you have to like the cigar. If you like the cigar, and and the product's good, 
construction is good. Go find me a seven dollar Cameroon Lancero with this kind of quality, triple top, right? So prices are good, right? It's look, you know, it's 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 if you come out today's standard, if you come out with anything under fifteen dollars, consider yourself very very lucky, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good exactly. So here we are, you know, we started this whole thing and said, hey, the only expensive cigar that I have. It's the Antra edition. Now, that yeah. cigar, it's going to be $14. Because the tobacco... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa stop, stop. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. Kill us. <laughs> you killed us. killed us with $14. You're, you're, really, you're, you're hurting, 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 hurting me at that price, size. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know, but yeah. see, you have to understand, first of all, the size that we made, there is no American company that we know make it. Because it's one of the hardest size to blend. The last cigar, and this this size actually inspired me from one of my favorite cigars, which is, uh, you know, Davidoff Dom Perignon. The size was called Lotias, which was 7 by 43 Lancero. There is no 7 by 43 Lancero in, in, you know, the market that we know, U.S. market, right? Because yeah. it's one of the hardest right, blends right. to the ratio between binder filler and wrapper, and Eladio nailed it. You know, and it took us, you know, it took us almost three years. Cigars are already made for almost a year and a half now. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, you know, you're getting well-aged, well-balanced, something very unique. $14, 100% money is going to sit foundation. So, you know, and it's a beautiful box. That's yeah. awesome. We're, we're, just, we're just busting your balls. We're busting your balls, Sanj. $14 yeah, is not, I mean, <laughs> comparatively. It's not, you say a hundred percent of it goes to SIDS? Yeah. That's cool. So, 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 uh, prior to COVID, mm -hmm. uh, 2004, June, June, 2004, I lost my daughter to SIDS. Okay. This, this June, she would have been 20. So this is her footprints. This is actual footprints. Yeah, like, yeah, I remember you showed that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Now right? I remember that. So yeah, yeah. we used to come out prior to COVID. We used to come out with the you know limited edition cigars, you know maybe thousand boxes, and and you know hundred percent money we would donate to SIDS. So this yeah. year we made twenty five hundred boxes because only ten count box. So you know, our our math was hey, it's fourteen dollars a cigar, you know about two seventy five a box. You don't want to do that. So we figure let's do 10 count and, you know, make 2,500 boxes and we will sell it. So, like, believe it or not, 65, 70% of the inventory is already spoken for. As soon as people come, they're like, we want it, you know, and this yeah. is one and done. This is not, you know, like other people, hey, this is limited and you see it all the time. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You, you could have easily done what everybody else is doing and, and, and jacked that up to, you know, what, $20, $40, whatever but the case may not, be. I mean, look, it, it actually bothered me. I changed the box designs five times to save a fucking, yes. you know, few few cents here, a few cents there. And I said, fuck it. It's, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Because my nice goal, experience. my goal, my goal you know, at, if we sell that cigar for fourteen dollars, my goal is to make five dollars per cigar after mm -hmm. paying all the taxes, everything, and you know that's my goal. Nah, we we respect that, man, and, and you yeah. know condolences okay. to the family too. But that's like to to tell a beautiful story like that, to do something that's different for the industry, and to do something you know for the consumer's price point too. That everything about that is lovely, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, then, and I'm not saying that again. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's your whole concept. I mean, you know, this is not, you know, a lot of people tell me, yo, and also it's made by Eladio Diaz, right? And tobacco in it, it's very old, very unique, you know? And um, like I said, as soon as I have it, I'm going to send you guys the boxes, and uh, that's the end of it, you know? Thank you so much. What, what, is your, what is your relationship like with, with 
a lot of y'all, man, because you guys are making some really cool stuff right now. Like, you know, when you guys are like, brainstorming and he's talking about different, you know, cigars and blending, like, what is your process like when you're working with them? So, you know, it's more mainly, so I know I could call any manufacturer and say, hey, I need you to make cigars. And 99.999%, nobody would tell me no, because my relation with them, my reputation with them. And, you know, uh, Eladio, uh, I think in November, he was here with Cigar Fiction and, uh, at the Carnegie place. And somebody asked him, he says, hey, since you retired, you made the first cigar for a guy named Sanz Patel. And he says, why? He says, nobody knows who he is. And he goes, that's my son. So Aladdin always treated me like son, right? So, you know, and we I know Aladio almost 25 years. So yeah, even, yeah, yeah. even like now, if I call him, you know, of course, I need translator, but it's like family, you know? So even even when he sends me message in Spanish, he always, you know, calls him son. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool, man. I just like the fact that you guys are still working together, you know, 20 plus years down the road, and you're doing new, innovative stuff, man, and you're giving people great cigars. That's the main thing behind it, man. That's that's actually pretty dope that you guys are still rocking. Yeah. So we're we're actually working right now uh, for next year with Ernie. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I, I'm not gonna ask any questions because I'm, I'm gonna let you guys put that together. I know you guys are probably working on some behind the most, the scenes. most most expensive cigar you're gonna see retail nine dollars. <laughs> From the three of you, and it's only gonna be nine. Nine dollars, most expensive cigar. <laughs> Fucking bananas. <laughs> That's bananas, dude. Bands and boxes. We're bad too. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you know, product like that, I have to put a band with red. I put a band because, you know, there's Chico's name. Black, we put a band because there's Eladio's name. Right? And, yeah. you know, yeah. that's the only thing I've seen. Thank you. you know, how many, how many cigars you have seen that third party make it and they, they show that kind of respect and love to a manufacturer's? There is not a lie or there is not a question somebody asks me that I don't give Eladio or Chico a credit. They come first. I'm nobody. I, I wouldn't say that, but I, I understand the humility behind what you're saying right now. Look, the here's the like thing. you were saying with the relationships that you built with, here's with, the, with here's the, everybody here's over the thing. years. Here's the thing. You have to understand the difference between a chef and a cook. I'm the cook. He's the chef. He's overlooked. They overlook everything. You ever go to a restaurant kitchen? There is a chef. He's just standing there, you know, pointing fingers. Cook is the one doing all the work. So I'm that cook. He's the chef. Yeah. Uh, you know, nothing more to say. Chef gets the name with the apron on it. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. So, no doubt. I mean, look, it's, it's you know, so uh, Ernie and I also very close friends, you know, very good. Even when I was in uh, Vegas, in November, first thing, you know, he's, he's a big SP1014 Red Lancero fan. First thing he came, he said, I hope you brought me my box of Lancero. <laughs> I got my box of Lancero. Yeah, you know? no doubt. yeah, so, you know, there are, look, these are, these are the, gen, you know, these are the classic, classic people of industry, right? And, yeah. and you know, and that's a beautiful thing about certain people in this industry and 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 that's all is to it i mean you know i could go work anybody anybody you name it i could pick up one right now and say i need you to make cigars like blind something and they'd be happy to do it but i don't want to work with them but, you, yeah. but you're trusting your chefs right now you're trusting the chefs that you know absolutely absolutely great quality. That's, that's my thing my my guarantee to consumer is Quality and construction. Your palate, your taste buds, you're responsible for that. Yeah. So, so you guys, I would imagine you already have test blends for the, you know, for the Eladio and the, and the EP Carrillo already. You guys have test blends on that. 
Yeah. What can you can you tell us anything about it, like you know, flavor wise or anything, or, or just right now it's, you keep it on the rack? It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be very European cigars. Okay. Okay. So so again, look, the SP Black is the strongest cigar in my profile. I don't like strong cigars. I like cigars has to have character, has to have you know transition, right? What did I say? That Solus is phenomenal smoke, but it's out of their right. you know, field because a lot of people don't buy it because they don't, they know it's if they think that it's not strong enough for them. And you know, my thing is yeah. cigars does not have to be strong, it has to be flavorful. Yes. And this concept that we smoke is missed up. Uh, yeah. Once again, I'm excited, man. Everything you got going right now, I'm excited for. It's only a few people that I get like really excited for whatever their new releases are. Everything that you're telling me about right now, from the charisma to the the Eladio, uh to the silver, like everything, the Oreo cell, I was excited for that. It lived up to it. Like you were saying, the construction on that thing was yeah spectacular. It was probably one of the best smoking cigars I've had in the past couple years. Not thank you. Saying that is hyperbole. That's genuine, bro. Dude. Thank you. Well, you don't have to say all that. I'll send you two more of your box. But if you like it, you know, I, ha I have my personal stuff. I say, you know, I'll send it out to you tomorrow. That's not a Monday. I'll send it to Matt and whatever you guys want. Again, whatever you guys want, just inbox me. All my of man. it. Appreciate it. Man. It doesn't have we, to be my cigars. If you say, Sean, I, I, I heard about this cigar, you know, of course, if I have it, you know, I love, I love to see a people who really know about tobacco and enjoy it because sheer fact that it's a good tobacco, not because it's expensive or well-made guy made it or it's, you can't yeah. find it. No, none of that. If you enjoy it, I got it. So outside of of this sauce or tell line, like what what have you been smoking recently that that's had you like okay they're killing it right now it's been a great cigar what's something that's kind of you know flavor wise is blowing you away recently? So as you know, as you see us on live, last six seven months I haven't been smoking a lot of cigars. True, yeah. true, true. So true. you know I have issues going on, so. I don't feel well enough to smoke. It's just like, you know, Matt said the other day that PP, whatever it was. That's <laughs> PPS, how I, yeah. yeah, that's how I've been feeling for the last eight months. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You got to that PPS syndrome, man. You yeah. got to so, that PPS so, syndrome. So if, some, if something new comes up, I don't even smoke it. Rob smoke it. Innocent smoke it. They let me know. Because I don't want to be unfair to anything. You know, I know how I feel. Right? Yeah. This cigar right now, it, this this Lancero is my favorite. Connecticut Lancero in our series is my favorite. I have no taste buds. I, I'm just smoking, puffing. So the audience said, hey, this prick is smoking something. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Oh. We totally understand that, man. That makes sense. Yeah, so I mean, you know, listen, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, even, even uh, Ernie's, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, new flap, I did not smoke it mm -hmm. because we got, we got 125 boxes and it was sold within like two days. It went quick, quick, yeah. You know, so I haven't been smoking like that to say, you know, and, you know, I know I'm missing a lot of stuff. I'm not, I'm not blending anything new. I mean, this was all done. So, you know, I know the, 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 um, the, uh, uh, Zodiac killer. I already know what it's going to taste like, but I have more samples coming either Monday or yeah. Tuesday. You know, those are wet packs. And soon as I have it, I'll send you, you know, I'll send Matt a bundle. So at least you guys can get five of each. Awesome. Yeah, you have, to, you, have to just, you have to just remember when you smoke it, these are wet. Gotcha. You yeah, know, so by the time, by the time, you know, it comes in October, it'll be just fine. Yeah. 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 100%. Sanj, did you, have you always been a Lancero fan? Like what prompted you to want to do a Lancero in all of your blends? Or is that so, a size you've liked a lot? Question. So, yeah. So since, since early 90s, right? 
um, Jose Blanco, Guillermo Leon Factory, uh, Iman Valenova, uh, you know, every uh, Ben Arm, um, uh, every time they gave me a cigar, as a blending cigar, we work with something, they would always hand me a Lonsdale or Lancero. And to me, I just, I just, you know, fell in love with the size. And then, you know, when you at the factory level, right? When you in the factory, if you smoke this, you know, Lancero, same Robusto, Toro, you see significant difference in it, night and day difference. And, you know, to me, you know, always one, one thing I learned, even from Eladio and everybody, one thing that I learned, it's a perfect Lonsdale and Lancero has a perfect balance between binder filler and wrapper. And I just like the size. And yeah. then, it just, you know, I, I did Lanceros for so long that it just didn't have it for me. Yeah, that makes sense. Lonsdale has been one of my favorite Vitolas for a long time. I absolutely love Lonsdale. Yeah, and so, so Charisma has a Lonsdale. Jose, what up? Charisma has a Lonsdale size. Oh, oh. nice. Nice. And all I can't I can't I smoke Lancelos all the time. I'll go with a live deal beforehand, but like the the, the Lancelos that you put out, like if you're saying that connected is money. It's yeah. absolute money. Yeah, so you know, so so the charisma has all classic statuses because that tobacco is so sweet, so old. That tobacco actually you smoke that cigar, it's like pure sugar cane. It's just yeah. cardamom and sugar cane. Hello. You're talking my language. Yeah. All right. So I don't, I don't know if this is something you can do here and explain to us. When it comes to like procuring the type of tobacco that you guys want for the cigars, how do you go about that? Like, you know, what is what is the connection? Like, who do you have to contact? You know, or you know, do you already have like you know tobacco learners that have this type of uh, tobacco that you're looking for? How does that whole process work? Yeah. So. That process again, look, uh, Edgar, you know, Edgar from OSA, one kill, one shot, uh, Edgar Hoyer. Oh, okay, okay. He, he owns the brand OSA, one shot, one yeah. kill. One shot, one kill. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Edgar is a dear, dear friend of mine for years. Yeah. So Edgar's used to make cigars until he got fucked with you know, major company that was doing distribution and stuff. So then he, you know, went out and what he did, he went to Mexico. So he's part of the Casa Turan family, which is the original owners of Tiamo cigars. Yeah. So yeah. he started growing tobacco. So he just sent me a video of whole bunch of stuff that they got from 2021, right? And he's got he's got hundred and fifteen thousand kilos of tobacco binder filler wrapper everything we need so tobacco i'll send you video after we're done about the tobacco yeah. just, just by looking at that tobacco it's so it just to me it's mouth watering right and then he sent us a tobacco we end up buying it we spent eight hundred and ninety thousand dollars for that tobacco that would yield me that would yield me about two million cigars Wow. <laughs> you know, average so, size. I mean, you know, if you yeah, go yeah. into like 60s and 70s and 80s, then it's less. But average sizes, it would yield me about 2 million cigars. But that tobacco won't be anything that we use with that tobacco. It, would have, it won't be ready until 2026. Understood. But just the fact that you have that, like, you know, in the stash waiting to make you know two million cigars it's crazy what that's, that's what, is, what is the like sales count like on industry killer as a whole right now sanj like numbers so, so far if you could yeah, share so so everything we started january 7 2022 when we launched the red then 23 we launched the black so between industry killer rs88 uh, we're not even going to count Oreo because that was one time, but like our yeah. core stuff, right? So, uh, red, black, we sold over three and a half million cigars. Nice. Damn. And Damn. A bad motherfucker. Damn. That, that, listen, just two weeks ago when we got Oreo, 
We had 500 bundles of RS-88 Connecticut, 500 Habanos, 500 Maduros, 500 um, Cameroon, and then the regular R industry killer, we have 500 and 500. Today, I don't have anything. It's gone. Hmm. So, you know, and, and again, you know, look, people now who smoked our product, who bought like five packs to try, now they're buying five, six, seven bundles. Same thing happened to Oreo. When Oreo came out, everybody ordered pre-order. Once I knew the shipments in Miami, cleared the custom, we paid the duties and stuff. We took a pre-order. Monday, we took a pre-order. Monday's live. Wednesday, when we started shipping everything, right? Tuesday night, we packed, you know, labeled everything. Rob shipped out first day, almost 600 bundles. And same people who got it on Friday, Some one guy, uh, God bless him, he ordered 100 bundles. He said, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Five pieces cigar, that's what it comes out to. If you take 25 cigars, break it down to 140, it's 560 a cigar. Yeah. 560, it's crazy. And I think, like I was saying before, I'm going to keep harping on this. They had the best burn lives I've had in a while, yep. dude. That thing was burning beautifully. Yeah. Beautifully. Yeah. Perfect draw. I had no issues with it at all for five dollars and sixty cents. Yeah, crazy. And that's that's our thing. Listen, you know, we broadcast everything. That's why we guarantee all our cigars. Yeah. You know, but out of, you know, out of, out of, out of three and a half million, how many have you replaced? I'm sorry. Out of three and a half million, how many? How many have you replaced? How many? What? Have you replaced? Well, right now I don't have any 550 blacks. It's coming. Everything's coming. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so when it says that like nobody's asking you like, yeah, hey man, these cigars aren't smoking the way they're supposed to. They're not burning like they should. None. You know, we don't. Not, we have yeah. zero complaint. I mean, look, I have one complaint, right? So again, I'm one of those guys. I don't argue with people. So gentleman calls me up. He goes, hey, you guys guarantee all your cigars? I said, 100. percent and he goes, well, I have an issue. So he sends me a picture. Guy bought a five pack of red. Guy's got a nails like fucking wild bear. And you know, when you remove the cello, you see halfway neck. He's blaming me for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did? Listen, I say, sir, no problem. Inbox is your address. We'll send you five free. Respect, sir. Right Respect, there. man. <laughs> Ends right there. I mean, you know, but it was his mistake. Anybody, right. if I, I still have those pictures. If I send you these pictures and say, guys, if anybody tells me that this is defect from manufacturers, and I will give them fucking ten thousand dollars. Don't keep my nails on. I want to see the picture. Yeah, yeah better claw. Take the shit out. Yeah, I mean, you know, this motherfucker had a fight with his nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna come out with another uh limited edition called the bear claw no <laughs> not worth it pay homage the whole, the whole end of it's free that should be hilarious though <laughs> yeah shaggy foot <laughs> <laughs> but you know it just it just people you know you of course listen uh, selling all the cigars and you know doing all this i mean we we had two complaints one was that gentleman and one guy was from texas he said hey i started smoking cigars i want to try black i said listen try red first black might be a little bit too much for you and same mm -hmm. thing happened he said these cigars are no good i smoked it it made me throw up i said nothing to do with fucking cigars yeah right, right? yeah and he's like well i was drinking and you know and i said look what do you what do you want me to do he said, well, I need my money back. I said, I'll tell you what, you got it. That's that's simple. Yeah. 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 Fair enough, man. I mean, that's not going to be any sweat off of you, man. That's just the fact that he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Yeah, well, you know, but, uh, but again, you know, my thing is this, right? First of all, how many brands you guys know that you have a direct access to a brand owner? Right. Yeah. I only have two. No, no, I'm talking about not you, not you guys personally. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, 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 
even for us, you know, Jewish people don't have that kind of access. So yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Generally speaking, for a consumer, you know, me, call me anytime, send me message, whatever, and I reply to every single message. All facts. You do. Mm -hmm. You do. All facts. Yeah, and you know, my thing is, listen, I always tell people, I make cigars, that's it. I just did an event. Guys want to take pictures? No problem. Guys, can you sign my... I said, have your dad sign your fucking box. Your dad should be your fucking hero, not me. <laughs> the fuck? You know, like, I just don't get it. You know, the, the way this industry is coming, you know, cigar... They, they, they make cigar manufacturing makers, you know, like fucking heroes. No. I just told somebody, hey, I want fucking pizza with pineapple and fucking mushrooms and hot peppers. That's all I did. Look, it's the fucking ring of the guy who really made it, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, of course, we had a lot to do with it, but, you know, hey, listen, I, I always tell people 90% credit goes to Chico, 90% credit goes to Eladio. Because, because no matter, you know, if you guys were making cigars, if we made a cigar, 90% credit I would take to blend something, right? But at the that. same time, these are, these are the lessons in industry. Listen. If if I live to be hundred years old, I would never. I still will have to learn what they fucking forgot about this thing. So it's mm -hmm. you can never compare yourself to fucking legend. It's that simple. People, when you talk to you, got a little twisted. They think they fucking got it. fuck you talking. To me. What, what what was what's the more challenging business? Opening up a shop or blending and selling cigars? Uh, so in in nineties, in nineties, as you see today, manufacturers who manufacture cigars in ninety, they strictly came in for greed and money because they saw it. So in ninety, if you ever came out with the cigar wrapped shit in it, put a band on it, box, somebody bought your cigars. Because nobody knew. So, you know, at that time, retail was phenomenal because, you know, boom was coming up, new cigar smokers were coming up. They wanted stuff. They didn't understand. They didn't have social media platform like the way we have today. So it was very limited information. Because, you know, you go to McDonald's and asking lady behind the counter, what's in this burger? Fucking, you don't know. Right? So, you know, at that time, people who came out with it, they made it, and their goal was to just flood the market. You know, they saw money. And which, hey, you know, that's that's one beautiful thing about America, you know, capitalism, you know, and that's fine. But in our case, we get somebody today at the event, he says, hey, you know, this guy sells out your cigars, why don't you produce more? I said, we have no interest doing that. No? And same thing, earlier, I think... Uh, so somebody says, why don't I go to PCA? I have no business being there. I don't do drugs. I don't do alcohol. I don't touch any other woman than my wife. So I have no business going there. And then everybody that comes out with new stuff, they give us month before and they give us month after. Same deal. So, like, you know, I don't bother with it. But, you know, we might get ready and just come to PCA just to fucking get on some, you know, uh, aggravate some people just for fuck of it. You know, and that's it. Yeah. Got it. You know, but, you know, I mean, you know, it just, the way, the, the way this business has grown, it's, it's fucking mind boggling. You know, everyone, if you look at every company says, hey, we don't have this, we don't have this, we don't have this, right? But what happened? Right, right, right. They come out with every fucking month, they come out with new cigars. So if you don't have tobacco for your first primary line, why the fuck are you coming out with different shit? That's the CBI, for the market. That's all we're showing. Yeah, yeah. Are, uh, are you seeing like a good amount of younger smokers like coming into some, the, the hobby? <laughs> like, What's the state of that as far as like new people getting into the hobby? Do you feel like that's but, a good spot? I don't, I don't, I don't have that kind of clientele. So ninety-five percent of my clientele is long-term smokers. Connoisseurs. So I don't have anything. I mean, yes, of course. You know, you get 
one or two guys come in and then, you know, I take over and I educate them. It's like innocent when he first came, you know, he didn't know nothing about it. I set him down, I teach him. I love teaching people one-on-one. -on -one, so I have no problem with it, but you know, reality hits and then it gets expensive. So they stop and they, you know, just for smoking cigars, they just smoke cigars, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't have that kind of clientele. Got it. How long, how long has the, the shop been there? I, I only think I asked you that the first time. How long has, has your smoke shop been in Jersey? How long has that been there? We're here since January 7, 1992. Damn. Yeah. What is what is the growth been like from from ninety two? Because you came in like you were saying during that boom, and everybody was just you know they just ninety seven was the boom. Ninety seven was the boom. Right. So you you've seen the growth. So what is what is the growth been like? You know, for the the, the smoke shop in general, what is what is the change been like? So from ninety two to ninety seven. Well, you know, we used to do a lot of like if you ask, you know, uh, all the CAO people and stuff. I had a lot of big part in that company, a lot of companies. And then, right. you know, one day I just said, you could, you know, online internet was big, big thing, catalog, not internet, catalog. They used to get catalogs mailed to people. And I'm looking at pricing and I said, why am I carrying this Macanudo? I'm paying 48% tax and somebody as a consumer could buy it. Like if a box cost me $100, $100 dollars, $48 was taxed. And then you as a consumer could buy that same box for $89. So I'm like, why am I competing with myself? So in 1997, I decided to go strictly boutique. If you were not mm. boutique company, we did not carry you. So every boutique company that's old, we supported them. Amazing. Amazing. Then, you know, I think, I think our thing is, and I also, you know, kind of gave promise to myself, that we were not going to charge any more than MSRP. So even today, there is not a single cigar. If you look at half real or cigar fixionado, whatever the MSRP is, I think it's the same MSRP on every cigar we have. So question from the chat, what do you think the futures of cigars will be? And do you think the government will ban them? Well, here's the thing, government, First of all, I said this, you know, um, when first FDA stuff took on, and I always, Jose Blanco, and I always have, we talk uh, at least once a week, twice a week. And, you know, look, FDA could never take this away. Again, I think I explained to one of the blogs, if you build a home, what do you need? If, you, if you're remodeling your bathroom, what do you need? You need a permit. Why do you need that permit? Not because the town could come to your house because you need no kitchen or no bathroom. They want you to pull permit because if the electrician plumber did the right work before you close up the wall. So FDA is doing that. Now FDA wants to ban all the flavor shit. People, the reason they're panicking is because there is a lot of unnatural things, so-called natural, is in the cigar. And those are the ones that's gonna get affected. Now, mm -hmm. again, in the name of FDA, a lot of manufacturers made a lot of money. A lot of manufacturers raised their prices. Oh, registration fee. We had to register the brand. Guess what? Doing a business, it should never be a burden of a consumer. That is your fees. That is your legal fees. You pay for it. So now FDA said, you don't need to do this. Did these motherfuckers lower their prices? No, because this cocksuckers Every motherfuckers have raised the prices from dollar to two dollars per cigar mm -hmm. because they saw we have to pay, we have 20 blends, we have to pay, you know, 100,000 each. Nobody fucking paid. And now it's not even that because you don't have to register those brands. Why didn't they lower that price? Again, I always tell people doing business, no matter what you do, how lavish you make your lounge, how lavish furniture you get, it should never be a burden of a consumer. I wish everybody saw it that way, son. Yeah, but look, earlier DJ made a video, right? It's and I would say consumer is the one to blame. 
Yep. Listen, if you have a crack dealer on a fucking corner, wherever you live, you buy a crack, you're a bigger jerk off. You already know that guy's a piece of shit. He's doing what he's doing. You already yeah. know he's a piece of shit. So by yeah. knowing he's a piece of shit, half the battle is over. Now it's up to you. All this high ranking prices, quality going down, and the prices are going up. Listen, since January to now, every motherfucking company that we deal with, they ran up dollar sixty to three dollars for no apparent reason. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Greed. Greed. Right? That's it. Consumers, That's it. they're getting it. It's that simple. You have to blame everyone. Yeah. It's, the, it's the, the blame for all the Zodiac shit. It's the blame for all these cigars coming out at $40, $50, And if we keep jumping on it, oh, it's a limited edition. Oh, I'm going to drop all my money on that. They're not going to be concerned about what the cigar is smoking like. That's not the manufacturer's fault, like you're saying. That's the consumer's fault. That's the, no. that's dead on. And DJ DJ was really on it. Yeah. You know, listen, if I if I, if I I decide to come out with, it, with, the, uh, with the cigar, you know, and, and say, hey, this is $30 cigar. I'm going to make sure that I'm giving you $65, $70 cigar for $30. In 1992, do you know how the SP Red Robusto $8 is? 1992, I sat with uh, Ben Tom, um, Don Douglas, and they said, what are you looking for? I said, I want $15 cigar that I could sell it for $8. That cigar, red, is still eight dollars. Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, today. So let me ask you this, Josh. What What do you think is actually going to be worth the cost? Because for me, it's just like it's just tobacco. I don't understand what they can put into that. What type of tobacco? What kind of manufacturing they can do to make that cigar worth that much money? Worth the hundred dollars? Worth sixty five dollars? What is in that cigar that's going to make it any different from, you know, your seven eight dollar cigar? What, what can they do to make it even worth that much? Is there anything, is there any tobacco that is that good that it should be worth, you know, $65 for one cigar? So, in Japan, do you have gypsies that tell you fortune? Yeah, they, they have it. You know, they, they have those. I can't remember what they're called, but yeah. Cigar makers are gypsies selling you fortunes, empty promises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, that, that, that's what I thought. That's what I was, you know, wailing about the other day. Because you know, I was going off with like, yo, it's no, it's nothing that you put in this cigar right here that should make that tobacco worth, you know, this cigar worth, you know, forty dollars. Yeah, it's a good well, cigar. So, but so, so like, there are there are some cigars, right? But it's genuine old tobacco. So like David of Oro, I would pay thousand mm. dollars. Because okay. I am the tobacco, but anybody else, absolutely not. Yeah. And not, that, not, not the new Oros, the one with Eladio's signature on it. I will buy that cigar if somebody says, "Sanj, I need three grand for this cigar." I buy it. I say, "Give me what you got." Because that's for you, though. No. Yes. You know, like you, you but, know, like you said, you know what's but, in that. But I know what's in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You follow me? The new no. stuff? Yeah. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't smoke gimmicky cigars like that. And that's the end of it. I just wanted you know? everybody to know the difference. It's like, you know, because I couldn't imagine, like, what where you're getting tobacco from unless you, like, there's some rare beef that's going on the top of the Himalayas that nobody else can get to. Like, that's the only way I can see, like, hey, this is worth somebody spending all of their money for. But I get the yeah, fundamental but, value. But, but here, look, on our, our uh, silver, right? Yeah. The wrapper yeah. is 20 years old, certified 20 years old. Wrapper. That cigar is yeah. going to be 11 and $12. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's a lot of the, the justification these brands say is, oh, this is 20-year-old, 30-year-old tobacco, or yeah. it's been this long. And so they try to justify the cost just because yeah, okay. it's sitting somewhere. So, okay, John, whoever's telling you that, tell them to prove it to me. We can. We have certificates. 
Right. By somebody yeah. telling you that Kalen looks handsome and smart in them fucking glasses, they fucking lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Kalen is eating it tonight. <laughs> Show the paperwork, Kalen. I'll take it, I'll take it man. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, listen, up, again, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a snake oil mentality. And the problem is yeah. the consumer is not educated. Yep. So, you know, look, here, I run the shop. I'm here. So if yeah. somebody comes in, we get a lot of visitors from all over. Today we have people came from Canada, set them down, educate them, and you know I give them a whole bunch of free cigars. And it's like, what? I said, take it. It's only cigars. The guy couldn't believe it. But you know, you have to educate people. Now again, you the difference is there are so many cigar shops, there are so many lounges, and there is a tobacco shop. I'm a tobacco shop. Most yeah. of these lounges you go into, you know, they have fucking 20 boxes of cigars and 500 seating, and then they have live DJ and they have this and they have that. What the fuck are you doing? Like, I don't I don't go to cigar lounge to fucking have a headache. I go to unwind. I want quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You be able He's to sit quiet. in the corner and forget about everything and light up a smoke and enjoy it. Yeah. 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 So, you know? But, so then I got to ask you as, as much as you can say, like, what's what what it makes the Oro then worth it? Is it just the, the rarity of the kind of tobacco that's in it? Is it yeah. how they how they? Yeah. OK. So so the tobacco tobacco, I, I, I know. The history of that tobacco. Yeah. Right. So I think that was one of the oldest tobacco hmm. in their archives. Now, understand where Davidoff came from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see where the tobacco yeah. came from? Yeah. Okay. I got you. Makes sense. Yeah. Are there any other cigars yeah, out there that you feel like are worth above a $15 price point today? No. I like it. <laughs> No, I mean, Same look. Book. If you, if you, what did you light up, Hound Dog? I'm sorry. Oh, I was asking Hound Dog, what do you lit up? I didn't see oh. when I lit. Yeah. Look, you got that. No, I, I was talking about Diaz Maduro. To me, that. to me, a lot of times I smoke industry killer Habano. Right, and people people come to shop and like, hey, that smells good, looks good. What is it? I said, industry killer. And once they find out it's six dollars, they don't want it. And then the mm -hmm. second thing, hey, son, I seen you smoke a lot of expensive cigars. Why you smoke six dollars? My answer to them is very simple. If this cigar was sixty dollars, I still smoke it. I'm not smoking it because it's six dollars or sixty. I'm smoking it because this is what I like and it's like. right there so you know if you if you feel like you know somebody asked me hey is this cigar just today we were at the event guy had at the shop something that we don't have and he said hey this cigar guy wants you know 27 dollars you think it's worth it i said this it one time in five years it's worth every penny but to go back to repeat your food so just so you can say hey i tried this right and that's all we do so Anything's worth one time. Sure. Except the zodiacs. But, you know, again, you know, you're gonna find fools and say, "Oh, this is the best thing I smoke <laughs> since sliced bread," right? So yeah. you know, it's a different, it's a different way of looking at stuff. You know, it's how how people are looking at stuff. You know. Yeah. And and it's it's very simple. You, you know, you come to my shop as a as a consumer. And if I know your palate, what you've been buying, and if you buy something out of ordinary, I'm like, hey, instead of taking three of this, don't even bother with this, but take one of this, try it. And that's what my job is, right? You go into sure. any cigar shop, they got fucking go well with, you know, fake tit, fake ass, and fucking, you know, selling your cigars, right? So, you know, where is the knowledge? Where is the education? Where is sitting down with the consumer and say, hey, what can I help you? What do you like? What do you have smoked? Have you ever smoked cigars? 
you know? And yeah. you sit with them, and nobody takes that time because they're all fucking, you know, cigar sellers, celebrities. Yeah. I remember I started smoking in 2007, and I remember back then, like a $12 cigar felt premium. I mean, that felt like premium you know thirty dollars i remember i remember the back then for for me and I, I was a newbie you know obviously i was very new in 2007 2008 but i remember the padrone 80th anniversary the the maduro the 1926 maduro 80th that was like a 30 dollar yeah. cigar and that felt like astronomical i mean that just felt you know and now it's like I mean, that's just all every le that's coming out wow. right? LE that's coming out now yep. yeah. yeah i mean listen again you know if that's what you like, then that's what you like. But you know, my 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 I always one message that I always want consumer to understand that you know money does not make cigars, it's what you like. Right? Yeah. Somebody today said, Hey, how come we never seen your cigars in cigar friction out of for ratings and stuff? And I said, Because they have criteria, we don't meet their criteria. You order for cigar friction auto. To rate your cigars, you have to be in 50 retail shops, so which is not happening, right? Yeah, I said European Cigar Journal magazines rated a lot of our cigars. The Lancero they give 93 points, but I don't post any of that because to me, if you don't like the cigars, that cigar is sick to you, and I'm okay with that because I'm not everyone's gonna like me, I don't expect everyone to like me yeah. or my product. Yeah. No, dude. I gotta say, you mentioned the the Habano, the, the Habano industry killer, the RS eighty eight, and the Cameroon are my two absolute favorites. I love those cigars, man. They're so yeah. good. Yeah, great stuff. I, I enjoy it. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna see what this band is Oreo Tell Habano is about, man. Since I don't have a band on this, I'm gonna see what this I really about. like that one. The Maduro is really good. I had to light it up after Sanj talked it up so much. It's yeah, good. Oh. Yeah. Dude, I have a so Sanj, I gotta tell you this on on that note. Um my old high school buddy came into town and he's he smokes every like once or twice a year, but he, he has since 2007. he's not a big smoker, but he, he's a light hobbyist, you know. But mm -hmm. he, uh, I handed him I hadn't had the Oreos tail habano yet, but I handed it to him. And I was like, hey, man, try it. Try the cigar. And I, I didn't say anything about it, you know. And he's like looking at it. He's like, well, who who is it from? And I was like, oh, you know, just, it's it's a good cigar. You know, I was just trying to like downplay it, you know. And he starts smoking it halfway through my house, that cigar. And he's like, dude, this is really good. <laughs> and I was like, you know, so then I, I told him all about, you know, your brand. Yeah, and, and, and see, it, that's the that. thing. Even though, even though he's a new smoker, it's enjoyable. Right, mm -hmm. but if you give him a fucking pepper bomb, he's gonna throw up, you know. And that's the thing. I mean, you know, I have a, I have a lot of requests from people. You should make stronger cigar. You should make stronger cigar. I said, if I can smoke that cigar, whenever I feel like smoking, I'm not making it. Mm -hmm. Everything that I have, if people, whatever reason, they stop buying it, I have no problem. I can smoke it. I'll send you fucking guys cigars. You smoke it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah people is like, you know, they do question like there's some sort of ulterior motive as to like why I, you know, push your cigar so much. Like, well, one, if you if you watch my channel, you know I hate pepper bombs. You know I yep. hate free cigars. What yeah. does Sanj not make? A peppery cigar. He makes flavorful cigars. Like it's mm -hmm. it's just it, for me, it's a match made in heaven to be able to promote and just, you know, continue to enjoy these cigars because there's, it's all about the flavor. It's not about the strength. It's not like the, the 7x54 uh, black, you know, nicotine wise, that, that one can get you by the end of it because it's such a big ass cigar. But it's not, it's not going to, you know, blow your palate out. You know? So, so on the black, my favorite size is 754. On the red, Lancero is my favorite cigar. So you see, you know, it's what I'm in mood for, right? So like black, I don't smoke 550, 554, 654. I want that 754. And Lancero, I'm satisfied. I mean, Lancero is my favorite size. So I'm okay with that. 
Yeah, I really uh, – I love the red and Robusto. Uh, I yeah. like it in Lancero too, but the, the Robusto just yeah. really helps for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, you know, it's, it's what you like, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been like, you know, for people who are coming into the shop and, you know, they're smoking, you know, your most recent releases or they're smoking the industry killers or whatever the case may be. What has the feedback been like from just people coming in and just trying, you know, the Lancero, they're trying the red, they're trying the black. When they're talking to you, what kind of feedback are they giving you? So, you know, this is, this is something that I'm very proud of, right? So... You know, I, I love nothing more than feedback from people. We don't have a single client. I have not met a single client or customer, whatever you want to call it, in shop or online, who has tried our cigars, right? And they did not buy repeat. 75% of my clients are repeat customers on my product. And that's wow. something I'm very happy about. That's my product. Right, so you know, somebody comes in new today. We have a gentleman who is new, you know. Um, he's like, I follow you actually, it was from your guys, you know. He follows you guys, I think he might be watching today. So he came in, you know, guy took uh, almost two and a half hour ride to just meet me. And I sat him down, I took my time. I said, Look, I have to leave by one o'clock because it's heavy rain and I gotta get there by four. So I sat with the man and I educated him, and he's like, Man. No one ever, he goes to a lot of shop to shop to shop. I think he's he's trying to break into pipe business. Young okay. kid, right? And, and you know, he said, nobody ever explained that to me. And I give him a bunch of cigars and I say, here, this is how you talk. And he's like, dude, I became fan of this cigar. He said, this is how much you couldn't believe it, $6. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want. And you know, when you have a repeat clientele, you want it. Then, you know, I don't give a fuck what somebody says. If if seventy percent, sixty percent, seventy percent, you have a rookie client, you won. Yeah. Is that simple? Yeah. Is that simple? And not a fanboy. I'm not big enough to be a fan. You know, somebody's my fanboy, right? But they just genuinely like the product, and that's all it's coming. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's safe to say we're we're pretty much fanboys of your songs. I mean, we're we're okay. friends, but we love everything you do. Yeah, but you know, but what? see, that's the thing. You know, the reason I send you again, I get a lot. I just send out a whole bunch of fucking things just to shut guys up. There are a few people that you know I saw them, and you know I like what they do. So you know, I said, hey, I'm gonna send you stuff, right? But yeah. I don't like it when. There is a guy calls me up. Hey, I'm a review guy. I need this many cigars. And I'm mm -hmm. like, we don't give out cigars. Yeah, what right. Do you, you, I said, I send the guy fucking should I smoke this dot com. I said, get whatever you need from there. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, but don't you give out free cigars? I said, no. I said, I'll tell you <laughs> what, pay for it, review it. So you give me an honest review. And then even if you said my cigars were shit, I still send you whatever you need. I'm not that guy. I, you know, to me, I take criticism well, but also you have to understand where it's coming from, right? So if you just started two months smoking and, you know, knocking some cigars and two fucking brands is the best thing to you, then, you know, I'm not your guy. You have to, you know, I always tell people, you know, all of you, what I like about you is I see every review you guys do and, you know, you're very fair. And to me, that's all I want. You have to be fair regardless of a brand. You know, you, you, I could be a scum to you or to other reviewers, but if fucking cigars are good, you got to say cigars are good. And you, yeah. I could be the fucking best thing, but the cigars are, you know, garbage. You got to say, hey, Sanj, your cigars are garbage. And I expect that. And that's what I would appreciate more, honesty. You know, sure. and, you know that's yeah. all it's good. One of the things that I heard today was that, that um, <clears throat> the, Oh, some of the brands were very keen on the fact that we are not connected to an actual cigar shop. Like none of us are an actual store too. Right. Because for a long time in this space, at least it was all about people pushing cigars yeah. know, through their store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's another like 
specific thing that allows us to remain as unbiased as we possibly can be and also to give legitimate opinions on our reviews outside of just our own, you know, trustworthiness and honesty. And 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 listen, that's that's only thing, you know, even if they call us and like, hey, if you I, I don't tell people. Listen, I think it was John very beginning I send them cigar and he said, Hey, by giving me cigars, don't expect and I said I wouldn't want it any yep. other way. Yep. Yep. You know, yep. and, and that's who we are. Man. You know, I, John, I, John John gives that disclaimer out to everybody. I <laughs> dude, I tell that to people. Well, I tell people all the time too, man. Like, if you think we're just sans nut huggers, like that's the first message I send him. And I've sent that message to other people, like Michael said. And mm -hmm. I had I had one, you know, I'm not going to name the brand, but I said, hey, if you're going to send me stuff, I do honest reviews. And they said, well, if you don't like it, don't post it. And I said, well, then I'm not going to review your cigar. Yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not, then I'm not going to review cigars, even if even if they're good, because it's not it's not like a it's not a fair representation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like and just, that's what we want, you know. All the all the review guys should be a fair review guys, you know. And that's all it's doing. Yeah, Keith. <laughs> one, of the, one of the best things though, like that 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 I've been getting recently is that I'm a sorry. lot of people. I've been going to side the shop and it's like, hey man, I was just at side the shop the other day. You guys talked them up. I just wanted to go check him out. I wanted to talk to him. I wanted to smoke his cigars. So it's been really cool feedback for us because we're going to be influencers regardless. But every one of us that's sitting here right now, from Roger to Michael to John, DJ, Matt, myself, we take pride in the fact that everything we say is the honest truth. And we can get in a lot of trouble. I know I get in a lot of trouble all the time for yeah, just saying but, how but, I really feel about certain brands. But, but listen, here's a simple question, right? There's... Yeah. Five of you, six of you, right? No, five of you. I can't see. I'm blind. There's six if you count Roger. He's there. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so if out of if I send a new blend to all six of you, and DJ over says, "Man, Sans is this is fucking garbage." I am not upset because guess what? I respect his palate. If you if John says, "Hey, this cigar's best thing," I respect that also, right? But what I'm not willing to respect is some motherfuckers only smoke five cigars in his life and trying to call the shot. You could suck my fucking Indian balls. <laughs> it's that simple. You have to see where it's coming from, right? And to me, you know, I respect everyone. I think um, I can't see, but I think next to uh, 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 Matt is Tim, right? That's Roger. That's Roger. This is Roger. Ah. Working man cigars. Oh uh, yeah. So I just sent a whole bunch of cigars to you guys. To you know the uh, you go uh, Tim, uh, some gentleman named Tim. You guys send yep. them cigars. So I just you know Rob send out a whole bunch of stuff. So they probably get it Monday, Tuesday. But I label everything. You know, because to, to, you know if you're gonna say something, at least give people a proper information that's yeah. it yeah yeah i it's it's hard to post the bad reviews too because like i always want to i want to be always respectful but i'm going to be honest you know i'll be honest but i'll try to be respectful but the only time i get really kind of disrespectful is if you're charging me 40 you know if it's like a 40 dollar stick which i don't i don't pay for myself anymore but if i get sent one and these people are charging 40 50 60 dollars that's when i'll if it's like a really bad that's when i get a little a little disrespectful but otherwise i try to be I'll be honest. But I try to be respectful to the people trying to make. Yeah, them. but but see, but see, here's the thing, right? If you if you speak the truth, I tell innocent all the time. You fat fuck, and people around me don't know me. They're like, why you call him fat? I said the motherfucker got mirrors in his house. He knows he's fat. I'm not telling you any other way. I'm not telling you lies. Yeah. Right. So, you know, if people don't like it, you know, fuck them. That's my mentality. And, and that's what I'm selling. If I show you guys my inbox from manufacturers, Sanj, when you're going to stop saying, that, you know, this price is, but am I lying? And then, no. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't I say, oh, but it makes us look bad. Right? You don't want my ass. I need to please you, right? 
This is what yeah. we do. You could do the same thing. You could do it 100 times better than us. You're a big company. I'm nobody. So they could do it, but they choose not to. And then they expect, oh, we're this or we're that. You know, as you see, you know, I think it's a new trend for 2024. Everything comes out. It's like $18, $19, dollars $370 is a good one. I mean, come on. It's insane. Yeah. Are you talking to people in the background, like, you know, with other consumers? Are you talking about, like, how they're pricing their cigars and all that kind of stuff? Are you talking about, is that a, like a dialogue between a lot of the cigar owners? Like, hey, man, you know, I need to increase the prices or, you know, I need to make more money off of this. Are more people talking about that? Is that like a dialogue between you guys? No. So in industry killer, most I get is, hey, sons, the industry killer RS88, can you sell us a million cigars? No, sell or no, nothing. And I'm like, why? They want to pay wholesale. He goes, we'll just put a band, put a nice box and sell that cigar for fourteen fifty. And I said, I could do the same thing. No, thank you. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. And, and, you know, longest, longest, listen, consumer schools are going to pay for it. That's all is to it. They're going to keep on doing it. Do you see an effect right now of the industry killer? Do you see a lot of people kind of like, okay, maybe we need to kind of start moving back towards this way, you know, because we're going to keep talking about, how great that is for the consumer, how great it is for us as reviewers. Do you see an effect already of, of the industry killer actually killing the industry? Well, you know, look, I the the name, I, I'm not looking to hurt anyone in industry. It just, no. for me, we were live just like this. You see how the fucking, you know, uh, Zodiac killer was born? That's how that right. was born. So I was on one of the... Uh, uh, Blog actually, um, uh, podcast. and you know, they said, you know, I was talking about cigars, and I said, No, well, fuck it, I'm gonna come out with you know, re revise all my cigars, and we're gonna call it Project Kill the Industry. And then when the industry killer was it never had a name on it, so I said, Fuck it, this is perfect oh, cigar to prove a point, and this is the cigar I'm gonna call it industry killer. So it was just that simple. I mean, look. I had dot heads. I made I made snake charmers before. You know, I made a lot of stuff you know, with funny names, right? And this thing is a perfect fit. You know, the cigar fits the name, and it just stuck with us. You know, we had we had cigars called we had cigar called Section Eight. It was three dollars and fifty cents. You know, and people loved it. And they're like. You know, I didn't want to call it house brand. I didn't want to call this brand. I didn't want to call it that brand. So guys like, what do you want to call it? I said, fuck it. Section 8 is cheap enough that we could put Section 8. And that's exactly what we did. <laughs> you know? So. Vivian, can you put that back up? You think you'll answer that question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. yeah Sounds. why do you think people are leaving Agonorsa Leaf? Well, listen. We could talk. I'm not gonna talk. I know the inside story. We we could mm -hmm. talk uh, one on one. I gotcha. can't. Okay. I can't do it private. Yeah. Okay. I mean public. Sorry. After Fair this enough. live, after this live, we could talk about it. Okay. Cool. Because we we'll we do this, so you don't have to get too involved in that. But it's something that we have been bringing up a lot. You know, just kind of, we can see that there's a difference with that brand, and for you know, people who like like us who've been smoking that brand for a while, that was one of my favorites for a minute. It was really one of my favorites, and it's yeah, rare so, that I ever go on my humor to have that now. So, you so, know what I mean? So, we can so, see the difference. So, you know, what happens in industry or anything, right? Even in any business, you know, when you when you have generations, generations, you know, work, you know, and you're third, fourth generation, now you just come into the business, right? And, you know, it's like right. they said, young, dumb, and full of cum. They want to rule the world. In process, you fuck things up, and that's exactly what happened. Validated. Word. Yeah. TR is a problem. Understood. Understood. You know, Manolo is a good friend of mine. I know. Actually, Paul Palmer 
you know, before they even separated. Paul Palmer and I worked together for somebody else's brand. You know, Manalo, actually in 90s, there was a magazine called uh, Dominican Tobacco Business. And uh, Mercedes Santos was the editor-in-chief of that magazine. There's actually seven, eight-page article, you know, about me and, you know, Manalo. And then we used to do a lot of business. So, you know, the first uh, uh, Casa Magna that got mm. rated number one cigar mm. of the year, that was Colorado. actually blended by Chico Rivas. Mm. Ah, okay. okay. I loved that okay. cigar back in the day. Yeah. 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 You like you like the you like the um, Casa Magna? I did. Yeah, the Colorado. The, Col yeah, the Colorado, Colorado back in 08. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Eno. Oh, he left. But I have the original ones. I'm gonna send you. Uh, if they came in a wheel of thirty cigars, I'm gonna send you the original Casa Magna. I'll ship it out Monday. See, Dude, I was, cool was that, John? I, if you just inbox me and say, "Sons, I like this." If I have it, I fucking send it. Dude, I, that would be sick because Sample I feel like they changed. I feel like they changed because back in 08, the yeah, when the Colorado first came out, I really enjoyed it, and then I had it recently, and I didn't, I didn't like it as much. Well, that's the yeah. thing, you know. Your prices go up, quality go down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny, do you have the uh, Do you have the anniversary or the just the Colorado? Me? I have all of them. Yeah. I think I, I, because I, it was made by Chico, so I think I have like a couple hundred boxes and bundles. I actually have the original bundles that I took from factory direct. So fuck the boxes; dude. I don't need it. Dude, Mina, dude. I would be. Can you I would do me be. a favor? Can you go downstairs into the humidor? So look, when you go, open the door. Follow my steps now. As soon as you open the door, <laughs> look right. There is a box. Boxes. It's a casa magna. Bro, I would be honored because like I that that was one of the first cigars back when I first started smoking that really hit for me, like when they first came out way back then. Yeah, that's not a problem. You know, I'll send it Monday. That's one of the best things in the world, John. It's like when it's, it's been a cigar that you haven't had in a while and you're trying to get that flavor again yeah. to get that the second oh, yeah. time around. So, man. That's a beautiful so, thing, bro. So I, I, I had a friend of mine and, uh, you know, if you, if you, you know, uh, it's a big opus, opus, opus. And I said, listen, what it was and what it is, it's night and day difference. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I never, no, no impossible. I opened the old box and I gave him the number fours, right? None of the motherfuckers could get out of chip. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened with the bull. I had a friend of mine, Cigar Dimple, she's by watching now, and she, she paid $65 for Andalusian Bull. And I said, listen, how long did you, I give her the original Andalusian Bull, MSRP was $9.50. What? And I gave her that right. box, and I said, try this. She says she's never buying this cigar ever again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this is the truth, but there's a bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, these are the original Casa Magna box. I'm yeah. gonna send you. I'm gonna right. send you. The, I'm gonna send you the package because package has I think thirty cigars. So at least you get five of each. These are the package when it was twenty-seven cigars to a box. Wow. Dude, that makes my whole month, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sorry, man. When I come to when I come to Jersey, man, I just want to see like everything that you got down there in that in that cellar. You gotta smoke while like, you want. I, I'm, I'm, man, but, like I, I'm more more of just like being there to see it. I just want to see all that stuff that you got down there, man. You can just be like, yeah, yeah, go, go down here and turn left and then go check this out. Go get that. That's just dope to me, man. That you just have that I kind know. of a catalog down there, man. I, that's amazing. I could, well, I could close. I could be you, you know, Helen Keller. You can't see, but I can. Closing my <laughs> eyes, I could see everything. Thank you. Hold on, man. Let me take you off. Okay. Let me take you off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're a uh, damn dude. Oh, man. Damn. Wow. 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 Got the refill pack on deck. Yeah, man, beautiful. 
No, you're making me laugh too much tonight. You're making me show my toothless gap right now. So I, I, <laughs> That's I don't okay. That. So, so this is this is the this is the original packages that when they came, Thank I just took it like this, yeah. you know, and and. I we gonna we gonna end up cutting a cigar somewhere. No, no, no. Okay, I'm, I want to package like it's nothing. I want to be a little yellow on that side. Oh, yeah. I want to show you something. First of Let's all, see. this is this came out of my humidor, right? Original yeah. cigars, no humidity. Look at the sallow, very minimal brown. Yeah. This is this is look zero humidity. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna pinch it. This is when cigar now. Guess how much this bundle of 30 cigars were back in the day? <clears throat> uh, t 30. I don't know, 200 for 30 cigars. We'll go, we'll go 150. Lighten them up. Look at this, motherfucking man. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's for 30, I'm gonna guess 200. That was the price I just removed was hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. wow. Hey. hey, you guys right now, go subscribe to the Infamous Smoke Show. You're not getting this anywhere else. You're not seeing anything like Sean just rip over that pack and light the cigar up anywhere else, man. For real, dude. Yeah. That's only with the this original, cool right here, man. Original Casa Magna. That's, 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 that's freaking big, dude. dude. This is taking me back, man. <laughs> Don't worry, you have it by Wednesday. Bro, I appreciate you, man, so much. That's awesome. It makes my month, dude, for real. Hey, we got we to gotta put that on, on the chip, man. Somebody got to clip that. That's a cool last thing to see a <laughs> real package. Oh, yeah. That was oh, it's cold. Put what that happened? on the t So, son, what do you, you want? want? Oh, so, go ahead, Keelan. No, I was just saying we gotta put that on like on a short man. You just ripping that package open and lighting up that that Costa magnet like that, man. That's some oh, cool man. shit. But look, burns perfect, no issues, no humidity, no nothing. Yeah, but okay, on the humidity, the, the humidor you're keeping in the basement, it's got to be at least like 50 RH, right? Like just ambient humidity. It's just, it's just regular basement. If you come, if I take a trip, I don't know if I could turn this camera around. If I show you my basement, it looks worse. I'll make Kaelin proud. It looks worse than Sanford and Son fucking front yard. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to see it. That's why I want to see it. I just throw it. shit all over. A lot of stuff I don't even know. <laughs> would you have no humidity if you lived in the desert would you do no humidity too yeah absolutely i just don't believe here look yeah. how minimal brownness he got yeah because nothing's that's wild that's look. wild look and then i'm gonna say really so so this is this is now project kill the boveda industry well, <laughs> is that, i never I never ever do you know it hurts me so much that when Rob ships stuff, people wanted Boveda stuff, and it bothers me to no end that I gotta put it. That is the hardest thing for me to see those. And I told Rob, I said, Don't even show me that. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, I mean, look, Michael and everybody's good friends, you know, at Boveda, but we were actually lie with them, and I proved them completely wrong. You have to if you if you if you going with science then you have to believe science, right? It's that simple. Yeah. Yeah. I see your point. This thing is candy. <laughs> Sugar. Yes. <laughs> I want it. Dude, I loved those things back in the day, man. They're they're great. Yeah, yeah, I can't and wait shoot. to get that. I want to see your review when you're lighting that bad boy up on your review. Oh, bro, that's, you that's, 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 that's going to be lit, bro. Hey, that me and so cool. ASAP. ASAP, dude. ASAP. That's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, that's how many 30 cigars in here? Mina, give me, give me two bundles. I'm going to send you, Matt, two bundles. Split it with you six guys. 
give me oh no we have it. we're not shipping tomorrow sunday right yeah so okay yeah i'm gonna send you two bundles 60 cigars you, for you guys thank you sir thanks man thank, thank you so much thank you man enjoy it <laughs> i will <laughs> yeah, Dude, we all will. Two listen all, he don't even care. He's been smiling the whole time ever since he's talking. <laughs> yeah, while I'm shipping, anything care. else you need, let me know. No, 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 don't care. That's all. I love it. Let me know whatever you need. Appreciate it, man. Okay. Good. Anybody has a question, please read it out because I'm blind yeah, yeah. as fuck. I can't yeah, read them out. I think we just got you right now. Yeah, so the guy like, what, what is the favorite stick? Just old Luciane? Casa Fernandez lines. What cigar smokes like that today? None. You can compare it. What, it. what it was and what it is is two different things. If you buy, if you buy, you know, uh, um, uh, Hagen no, does vanilla ice cream from 90s and what it is today is two different things. So it's the same brand. You know, that, that's, that's, that's the thing most people need to understand. You know, just the age itself, time, you never could repeat that. So, you know, when something is good, you know, and if you have a good palate, listen, I know this blend, Chico could never reproduce that again. Mm -hmm. The terroir is going to be different. Yeah. yeah. The terroir is going to be different. The age is going to be different. The leaves yeah, is going to be different. All of that. Yeah, yeah. Even, yeah, yeah. even back makes... in the day, the simplest soil, right? Today, all the newcomers came on. They're using chemical uh, based uh, fertilizers and stuff. Yeah. All timers use manure. Yeah. So, you know, you have to you have to play. All that plays in part. Also, you know, oh, yeah. I'm one of those fucking tree huggers that believe in climate, uh, you know change and shit you know no it's just fucking nature doing nature's thing yeah 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 do you know of anybody right now that's like you know kind of trying to keep treat their soil and their tobacco in the purest way you know are there any companies out there that are doing their best not to use as much of the pesticides and all that bullshit in there? yeah there are a lot of companies yeah, yeah. a lot of companies okay. yeah, yeah yeah you see uh, about month, uh, three weeks ago, I posted a video with Eladio that, you know, it's a whole farm a little bit further out in Dominican Republic. It's on my Instagram page. I posted it. And that's where okay. everybody's going through. More mountainy and phenomenal stuff. How often do you go out to, to like, you know, do you ever get to, to Nicaragua? Are you able to travel like that? I know you not, haven't been feeling as well. Are you not able to go to Nicaragua likely, or Dominican you know, Republic? Six, before six months, I was going there every other month. Right, 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 right. Right now, you know, two hours ride today fucking killed me. Yeah. What, what tobacco levels do, do you appreciate the most? Do you have any favorites or any places that you like to get your tobacco from? Do you, are there any, like, you know, tobacco levels or any companies that you like to work with the most? Well, in that, that part, I, I deal with experts. So I leave it to Eladio. We know what we mm -hmm. want. So Eladio mm -hmm. would say, hey, this is where we're going. I leave that to Chico, right, and say, hey, this is who we're going with. Right, so Leo Ray, Don Leo Ray is a number one guy for us because you know, because of our relation, he would open up like just like I'm opening this rare shit for you guys, he would open up rare shit for us. Hmm. So, yeah. you know, no, it's, no. It's, it's different, it's a relation base, right? So, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not walking into Chico's place and say, Hey, give me this, or you know, you're not walking into a lot of says, Give me this. That comes with you know, relation and you know long-term relation. <laughs> yeah. So, I got to ask, you know, you close mouth doesn't get fed. Do you think Chico will come on and talk to us at some point in time? Do you think he will come on to the FMS Smoke Show? I can't hear you. Say that again? Do you think Chico will come on to the FMS Smoke Show and talk with us at some at some point? So, yeah, we could get Chico. We could get a lot of your problem is we need translators. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True, 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 true. So, hey, yeah. if you want Chico anytime, no problem. If you want Eladio, no problem. But we need translators. 
Yeah, that'll be kind of difficult though. Like in my, my yeah, Spanish and my Japanese is not good. Listen, if you ever got Chico, right? And you know, translator, we could have Mario from here translate. All you have to do is just keep quiet, ask him questions, keep quiet, and let him fucking do his thing. He'll blow your fucking mind. Yeah, I like the sound of it. I like the sound of that. It, what what that man knows, man. Listen, again, he's young. But what that man knows, there is not a single person, new guys I'm talking about, his age level, can never shine yeah. Chico's shoes, man. You got you got a favorite blend by Chico? You got anything that he's done that's just like, oh man, this is, this is one of my favorites for over the years that I smoked from, from Chico. There you go. There you go. That's, it. that's why That's why I have it. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt, sir. That, that, that would even beat out the red I'm sorry? That, that would even beat out the love and passion for you? I can't hear you. I'm sorry? That, that would even beat out the love out. and passion for you. Does it beat the love and passion? Yeah. The red. red. Yeah, I, you know what? Yes. Because... It's not quite the same as love and passion, but it's everything in the flavor profile that I look for. So for me, yeah. I would say yes. Well, that's mad respect. respect. Yeah. Mad respect. Yeah. Now, if this cigar, it was like six, seven dollars when it came out. If this cigar was sixty dollars, they still buy it. Still buy it. <laughs> because this is something. This is something I enjoy. This is something yeah. that's to my, you know, when I smoke stuff like this, right? It's like, okay, this is perfectly made. This is what I will make. You understand? Mm. Absolutely. 100%. No doubt about it. Also, I think a crazy thing is probably the access that somebody like Eladio has experienced throughout his career because there's no brand with an archive like Davidoff for so yeah. long, right? To be playing yeah. with. Yeah. So it's like, you just, you got to pick and choose like yeah. the very best from everywhere. And, yeah. and, and, and you know, look, you know, there are a lot of people. Now you see Chico's making a lot of cigars for a lot of people, right? Yeah. But again, those are not proprietary blends. Yeah. Everything that we make is proprietary blend. There is a big difference there. Making a cigar and then making a cigar. Mm -hmm. right. We're making cigar cigars. Right, right, right. right. Totally you know? get that. Yeah. So a lot of people just don't get it. I mean, look, you know, charisma. It's two and a half years. Even my red, when we recreated, it took me and Chico three and a half years to say, okay, we're good. Right? You know, same thing with black. It took Aladio almost close to two years. In and we had, frame, we had all the plans. We had all the original. From the start. Yeah. Sorry to talk over you, Sanj, but from, from the start, like, what, what are you guys looking for? Like, when you're communicating back and forth, when you, what are you looking for to say, okay, this is it. This is what makes this cigar what, exactly what we were looking for. So what is going into in, that process? So, so in red and black, we were looking for anything. Red and black, we were looking to create exactly what we had. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were trying to go back to the 90s. Right. So, you know, we had a bunch of cigars, and I'm like, hey, this is it. We smoked them. We wrote notes. We smoked them again. We uh, did notes. And then we went to, you know, drawing table. Red took us almost two and a, two or two, almost two to two and a half years to say, okay, June, if you go back into my Sanji Smoke Shop page, June. Mm. 20, June 7, 2020, I I took a picture, smoking a little stuff, and I, all I did, titled it, this is it. Got it. Nice. You know, so, like, charisma, look, it's been two and a half years, you know, it, cigars are, it took us a long time. Antra took us a long time, so everything that we have is proprietary blend. I am not going to a cigar maker and say, hey, I need 
200,000 cigars. What you got? No, 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 no. Because if I, so, so the silver right now, for now, because of the issue we have with the, you know, guy who has a wrapper, mm. right now is only 150,000 cigars, 50,000 cigars of each Vitola, right? But if you could sign it again, then, you know, same thing. We want to continue. Now, if you notice something, if you look at my SP red from, you know, original and now, no changes. Yeah. How, how difficult is it to, to maintain a supply so that you can be remaking that cigar over and over again? Well, so that's the thing. Like the new tobacco that we acquired from Edgar, it's 2 million cigars. Yeah. So now it's already paid for. So we know what we paid. So that's why I can't understand why all these companies every three months, every time they get fucking, you know, lose motion, they raise the fucking prices. Right. And that's why we listen, we do the same prices. We're not changing any prices. Because you're able to get the tobacco, you know what it is. You already paid for it. You know, you got millions of there's no need to keep upping it. The only reason to do that would just be greed. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my, goal, my goal, anything that I come out with, other than Anthra, it will be less than $12. I think yeah, Matt, I, I don't know if I sent Matt the silver. I think I did. Yeah. yeah. Chocolate, ginger. I get a lot of uh, guava fruit. I got, I got, uh, what did I get? I got like, uh, not uh, like, like preserves. Apricot, apricot. Yeah. You got that well, nice that's fruity profile in there? Sweet. Mm. That sounds amazing. Well, like it'll, it'll start too. off. It'll start off. And that's why, listen, you know, I tell a lot of people if you're not into that vintage, moldy, pungy tobacco, don't buy my cigars because you're going to waste your money. But if you're into that vintage cigars, then this is for you. Now, you're going to get, you know, you could see the wrapper, you know, you could see how old that is. You know, if it, if you have trained that, you're going to say, man, this is fucking age, right? And then you yeah. get a lot of chocolate, and then you're going to get that ginger, you know, like true ginger taste to it. And then it just fucking so, go right into fruit. Yeah. Like I get guava fruit, you know? And then people who smoke it, they're like, man, what the fuck? This is like, you know, pure fruit. And I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. You know what's really cool, man? When I opened up that Oreos tail, when I opened up that pack, I think I mentioned it in the video that I did when I was doing the unboxing of it. Like, it was just a natural tobacco smell, like that pure tobacco smell. And that, that makes me so happy when I get that. Like, you're not, you know, it doesn't smell like any kind of chemicals. It's just, it was just sweet tobacco. That was the yeah. first thing that hit me. I was just like, natural. okay, I already know I'm going to love this. It was so natural, but it was so yeah. good. And it was like, you know what that really good tobacco smells like? Yeah. That was the first thing that I got when I ripped that open, man. So that was that was awesome to get that. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, you know what I just thought of? I think if my the Zodiac Killer sample comes in Monday, I'll ship you Monday. But it's already shipped from Miami. So it could be Monday, Tuesday. As soon as I get the Zodiac Killer, I'll ship everything to Matt together. <laughs> I know it's so hot for Matt, man, but we appreciate it. No, I said he's our distribution bro. center. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Matt. <laughs> Matt is our hub. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. How's that cost of magna treating you? Very good. Yeah. The way it should be. You know, has zero pepper, so much flavor, so much bouquet. It's unbelievable. No. Even the smoke itself. A lot of bouquet. Did, uh, did someone see the question here? I can't Read fucking see I'm blind. <laughs> uh, somebody in the, in the chat asked, uh, Sanj, talk about the Padron rappers and how they're actually MSA from the Torrent family. <laughs> I'm not going I'm not to do that, that one. Gonna get yeah, him in trouble. Not, not, yeah, not but, not that, like, but in, in general, like what, what do you think about patrol cigars as a whole anyway? So you don't have to go into that question, but what do you think about patrol as, as a whole? 
Well, look, if you like it, then it's good. Some people buy Mercedes, some people buy Mercedes, but they fucking live in an apartment where they're making their payment for that monthly Mercedes payment. They go making a fucking down payment in their fucking home. So priorities are different. So, yeah. you know, you can't yeah. control that. Man, that's my own heart. I appreciate you on that one. Amen. And I say that right. I'm wearing a pajama hat, though. <laughs> 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 the irony. Yeah. No, I, mean, I, I totally know. agree with that. Yeah. And there are some people just buy it because it's, you know, it's value in every aspect right yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know and and you know just the other day like i said i bought my son his first watch 13 year old with patek and people are like why are you spending that kind of money i said i'm not spending money that's an investment that you know and, it's an investment he's gonna appreciate he's gonna appreciate how that watch is gonna appreciate over time he's gonna appreciate absolutely. the value and, and, and have the quality absolutely, absolutely. you know so for me it's a, it's a quality you know it's it's never it's never because oh somebody else buys it it's never the end. you know it's to me i like it it's quality that's all it's doing I, i'm a quality guy somebody was asked uh, what do you have you heard of what was that don Benjino? Don Benjino say that one again more time. one more time Somebody was asking, uh, have you heard of Don Bengino cigars? No. Nah. Me either. So I, I didn't know anything about that one. That was Fred, by the way. Dropped out of Fred. I think he <laughs> just dropped a review on that uh, today. Okay. Nice. So what, what kind of watch? I know you got a new watch that you're looking for right now. Is there another watch that you're trying to buy right now? Something that you want to add to your collection? So. Nothing exciting coming out. I mean, you know, I have. It, look, my son's watch. He bought him the classic Salvatore watch. I mean, you know, it's it's classic watch, and that's what he wanted. Like watch like this is too so for him. He don't want. It. You know, I like I like I like a lot of uh you know uh Henry Vincent. I like a lot of IWC. You know, I like Usman Constantine. So you know. I mean, I like Parmigiani. Parmigiani is, you know, very good watch for the price. No doubt. I just like to see what, like, the, the stuff that people are really looking forward to and they're looking at right now, like the, the type of watches. Like, for me, what I've been spending, spending my money on since I'm not spending as much money on cigars, like buying shoes lately. So that's kind of been my thing, like buying these new Jordans or whatever the retro and that kind of stuff. So everybody has their thing that they fall in love with. I know Michael probably got some uh, new liquors that he's looking forward to. to <laughs> new gotta, what? Liquors? Liquor, liquor, liquor. Oh, liquor. <laughs> yeah, you rock them <laughs> liquors all the time. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, 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 it's bottom line is you know there are people believe in quantity and there are people believe in quality so you know i mean to me look i'm 56 years old i have not owned i have never i don't know what pair of sneakers feel li like on my feet i do not own sneakers hmm. i never bought it so you know if, when so as soon as the weather comes nice you never see me in shoes. It's always sandals. Hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and, you know, shoes, I mean, I buy high-end shoes, but you would never know by looking at it that this is a high-end shoes. Because to me, I'm not buying it to show it to other people, hey, this is Gucci or LV. No, 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 no. You know, it's, look, I just took my shoes off. Look at this. Very simple, right? Nothing. No bling, no nothing. Completely Simple. handmade, right? Look at the brand, Hermes. Mm. <laughs> right? So if you put it yeah. on, nobody would know. Yeah. <clears throat> Unless and you're that, like really into Hermes, you're not gonna know, right? So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so I don't. Good. I don't wanna look. I. I. My daughter dressed me today. 
right? She said, Papa. I see that. I see what you were doing there. Show the please. Hold on. Catwalk. Hold on. 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 Hold because the buckle is too big, you know? Yeah. That that style, my daughter bought, you know, she knows she buys a lot of Hermes stuff for me. So she said, Papa, you should wear this belt. I said, honey, you're going to make me look like fucking Dominican. <laughs> what are big fucking buckles? I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, this camo hoodie is actually Prada. Yeah. I mean, you, you buy it. You buy it because of quality, right? I I yeah, love yeah, yeah. all my shirts. Ninety percent of my shirts are Burberry, and then Zenia. Look, this shirt, this shirt, is twelve years old. Twelve years old, and it looks like I bought it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit lasts. Yeah, and that's that's what you is classic. Classic stuff would never go out of style. Remember that. Yeah, this is this is just Cabela's. This is Cabela's. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it just idea is you know, you buy stuff because you enjoy it. You yeah. buy because it's comfort, right? I know I had a long ride. This fucking shoe feel makes you feel like you have nothing on your feet. And you come to my store, I walk around mm. barefooted. I love walking yeah. barefooted. I hate you. <laughs> I'm sorry. He said he said he buys all his stuff from Kirby Allison. Who the fuck is Kirby Allison? <laughs> we don't have, oh we don't have enough time left on the show to go. <laughs> oh no, we got enough time. We got enough time. You don't, you don't worry about it. Like that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's funny though. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna send you a, you a video, video after, after this uh, show's, show's over. over. You're gonna like this. It's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing like what's out the out there today. I'm so pumped. I'm really excited. Yeah, so bring bring me back, man. Yeah. Yeah, you could have just texted me and said, hey, Sanj, would you happen to have this? <laughs> we, we know that. We know. Dude, we know. Even, even if I did, I, I got to say, Sanj, I did not expect you to have original Casamagnas down there. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> Listen, you know, I go into a lot of shows and stuff, and they talk about old cigars, and I pull out boxes. They're like, what the fuck? Like, where is yeah. your basement, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, now uh, I, I don't have a lot of stuff since we lost all that. But I have a nice, nice collection. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Goals. Yeah. That's dope. <clears throat> and that one makes me happy, you know, sharing it with, you know, those who appreciate it and enjoy stuff. Yeah, man. That's why we bring you all the time. That's why we appreciate you, man, because that's, you know, you can, you can call somebody Japan boy, you can call us motherfuckers and cocks all day. But the way you treat us as, listen, as, as reviewers, listen, and people like you treat us as people, man. We appreciate it. With, with me, you got to worry the day I don't bust your balls. Yep. Right. right. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> you know? It, it, that's the day you got to worry. Yeah, I would have wanted that. Yeah. Anyway. I love yep. it. Same thing with that fat fuck you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, he's got another question. What do you think of Reserva and Grand Reserva brands? Is it truly age or just marketing? <laughs> and next question. Drop it around the corner. You 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 should be able to tell zero difference in between that, no significant difference. 
different band, different box, in most cases, don't change anything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you could come out with fancy names, fancy this, fancy bands, but what's what's there is there. Smoke them side by side. Yeah. See for yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> Sanj, do you see any um see any regions becoming prominent? So, you know, like right now, Nicaragua is really hot. Obviously, the Dominican Republic. Do you see any regions like Costa Rica or Peru becoming hotter, or even Honduras? You know, I know Honduras. There's plenty of Honduran cigars, but do, do you see them even anything besides the DR in Nicaragua like kind of becoming better and better? So Costa Rican. It's not going to happen. They have phenomenal, one of the best tobacco, right? Mm -hmm. But the way the government and tax structure is set up, people don't uh, want to do business. So uh, now, like, you know, when we manufacture cigars in DR, right? They ship it to it. So it's designed for export only, hmm. right? But at the same token, if you buy the SP Red in Dominican Republic, it'll be $24 MSRP because of their tax. So mm -hmm. Dominican government, when you export it, they don't charge us that internal tax. Costa okay. Rica, you're paying that internal tax. That's why if you look at any cigars that come out of uh, Costa Rica, they charge you the internal tax before they ship it out. That could be 300%. So if you're making cigars, if you're making cigar for four dollars, finished product, not naked, finished with the band box, and say, "Hey, this is a hundred dollar retail value." I mean, you know, wholesale value. That same hundred dollars now is costing you four hundred because you got to pay three hundred percent duty. So where is that? Who's going to observe that? That's why a lot of the, the the Costa Rican cigars are very expensive. Yeah. Okay. You know, they don't they don't charge money just for sake of saying oh it's costa rican tobacco we're going to charge right no it's actually there is a cost and that was the main reason that we left costa rica but you know our original speech were made in costa rica by don douglas okay gotcha. and that time, gotcha. that time they didn't have that much taxes today it's just fucking wildfire nicaragua yeah. nicaragua it's popular not because of you know what they produce is how cheap they produce okay so you know, if 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 you if you look at like we try to work with a lot of companies out of China for a lot of stuff, but then yeah, the actual product is cheap. But then when you look at the shipping, it's like same shit. And you know, I'm like, forget it. Let's just stay here. So you know, yep. there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, you know industry stuff that you have to think about. You know, and you know people say, oh, you know, this cigar sixty dollars, this cigar forty dollars, but look at it where it's coming from. Look at the history. Know your back. You know, know the you know culture of that country, and you know, then you can make a shot. You know, and and that's what it is. Are are they just against the tobacco industry as a whole? I mean, no, no, no. But that's how they feed. You know, tourism. Okay. You know, fishing is big in Costa Rica, right? And and you know, tobacco is big. But you know, now it's actually in nineties. Believe it or not, it was very very promising. There was you know. SP was made. There was a cigar called Esteban Cruz, Steve Sachs, Guy Rusty Soul made cigars, Tony Brahani made cigars, Bahia cigars, right? Bahia Gold was one of my favorite cigars. Yeah. Yeah. I, when any time I have a cigar with Costa Rican tobacco, I usually like that cigar. Like, I, I really like Costa Rican tobacco. Yeah, so now you have Adabe El Septimo, right? Oh. You have uh, M. Bombay from Mel, you know, Mel Shaw. But you know, again, those prices, you know, and that's say, same thing happened. Mel's a great guy. In the beginning, he called me and I said, Mel, you know, you don't have name, you don't have anything, no one knows you in the industry, right? And you coming out with, you know, 18, 19, $20 MSRP cigar, no one's gonna buy it. People don't care that it's made in Costa Rica. You know, it's like some people, some people say, oh, cigar is a cigar. You know, alcohol is alcohol, car is car, right? But, you know, if that's your mentality, then there is nothing I can do to educate you. Yeah. Right? Guys yeah. tell me, they see me, you know, wear high-end watches, and they're like, my Seiko tells me same time as your watch. I said, no. Your Seiko just tells you time. My watch tells me my time where I'm at. Big difference. So, you know, yeah. people need to understand that. Tobacco is coming out, you know, where is it coming from? You know, uh, 
they, they we actually experimented with Colombian tobacco, and it's very hay, very bittery, right? Mm. And, and it, you you can't you can't do it. You can't use it. A lot of company, a lot of countries produce their main source of agriculture is tobacco. Do you know India produces largest amount of tobacco in the world? I but their tobacco, been, their tobacco is non usable for cigars. So if you look at, they they use BDs, they use it in chewing tobacco. Chewing tobacco mm -hmm. is very big in India, right? I dip Indian tobacco. They use it in snuff. You know the one you snort. Mm -hmm. They use stuff like that. Very big. They actually have a toothpaste. It's called Ipco, Ipco. right? And and you use it as a toothpaste, and it just gives you the morning rush. It's tobacco wow. toothpaste. That's dope. Okay. Wait, so yeah. you dip? I'm sorry? I said you dip too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. you know, uh, it's... What it's do you usually dip with? So, so it's not like Copenhagen or, you know, mm. Kodiak or anything. This is like all pure, natural tobacco. So if you look at the ingredients on this thing, right? It's only three ingredients. Tobacco, lime, edible lime, and menthol. So, mm. you know... I don't know if you guys could see it or not, but see, it's mm -hmm. it looks like yeah, pure tobacco, you know, and and you know there's no ingredients other than three ingredients. So you know Copenhagen Zodiac, uh, you know Kodiak, all that is bad because in in eighties and nineties, early nineties, the way they, the way they used to do it. You dip a bag, right, of anything or loose cord, you know, and they usually used to have granulated glass in it. So what you do, you take a pinch, you put it, and that fine glass will cut, make puncture yeah. in your gum. So that it would get into your gum spout. You nicotine. So this yeah. way, this is natural because it's edible. You ever use your, you ever use cement and you put your hand the next day your skin rips? Yeah. Right, so there is the lie that's in it that's doing it. So this one, there is the edible calcium that does the same effect, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't do any damage to you. Interesting. Yeah. Do you do you what, smoke like tobacco pipes at all? I'm sorry. Do you smoke tobacco pipes at all? I used to. Pipe just became too much work for me. I'm yeah. lazy when it comes to shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to be able to light it, smoke it, and fucking go home. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I had I had a phase, and I, I still smoke them every now and then. But it, I feel the same way. The tamping down and the all the yeah, the yeah. Maintenance so, pipe and all that. Yeah, you know Lars, right? Lars T10. You guys heard of him? Mm -hmm. So Lars T10, when I used to blend cigars with him, we actually had a tobacco that I made it very aromatic. We used to blend our own pipe tobacco. Mm. So I have I have this project just for me, not for sale. If if I even go through it, it will go out just to like guys like you for them to enjoy. It. So actually, I'm making a cigar. It's it's it's. Um, I want to call it saffron. Okay. So we actually using actual saffron, actual mm. spices, and stuff like that. Wow, interesting. That's yeah. cool. That might not be cheap. That might not be <laughs> that'd be really an expensive cigar with saffron. Yeah. So you know, you know, I want to use actual spices. And you know, when it's when it's ready, I mean, you know, so far what we have, I love it, but you know, still takes still time. Still yeah. Working. Yeah. And so, that's never gonna be for sale, that's just for strictly pure and something different. Hmm. Yeah. When it comes to like uh, Cameroon tobacco, like is it difficult to procure that in Africa, or you know, is it best just to get the seeds from other places, get the seed and then grow it in other places? How is that going? So a lot of people claim that they're the only one, right? Yeah, right. And, one, you know, one, one group in particular. And, well, you know, we're not gonna mention no names. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, but. Frank Lucas thought he was the only one with that blue symbol. Hmm. Remember American Gangster? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew you were going. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, anybody could say anything. It's accessible to anyone. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. I always wondered about Not that with Cameroon. Yeah. Yeah. That answers. I was. Uh, yeah. That answers a question. I, you know, I don't. Obviously, I was going to name names, but that's helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Have we got any more questions? Um, got a question about Sanzer's family history. Is it rooted in the uh, sale of Indian tobacco at all? Yeah. So, even today, I think we spoke about it once before. My family is the only one probably in the world today have a technology to take nicotine out of tobacco without harming tobacco. So until uh, 1997, our clients, my family clients who are Philip Morris, RJ Reynolds, Lorelar, Brown and Williams, these are the companies that made all the cigarettes, major companies that made cigarettes. So until 1997, it was legal to add additional nicotine to cigarettes. And then FDA banned that process, right? So that's when, you know, natural cigarettes came out, like uh, American Spirit was the first one to come out with natural, right? Then they had, you know, this catnip cigarettes, which was, you know, uh, uh, pure non-tobacco cigarettes. So they banned all that. So even today, our clients are, you know, uh, pharmaceutical companies so when you see like coq10 nicorette patch nicorette gum that is our raw material so we also yeah. make bds you know number 27 that's owned by our family oh wow okay. yeah so so and if you go to india my family is known as the nicotine vala means you know nicotine merchants yeah even today that's how we know I think you mentioned that to us before. That was some, that's yeah. probably like the first time that we talked, but that's cool for people who are just getting into it to, mm -hmm. to hear that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I got a random one. Do you ever purge your cigars? No. Yeah. I just look. My thing is, you know, I hate to tell you this, guys. I want to light a fucking cigar smoke it if the shit don't <laughs> burn right throw the fucker out <laughs> i don't yeah. give a fuck what it is right to me it's just you know cigar smoking should be just enjoyable in every aspect mm -hmm. i don't want to struggle with it i don't want to yeah. carry a poker i don't want to carry this just fucking throw it out it's cheaper to buy a new one mm -hmm. it's true it's true it's fair Ah, uh, got a question on Davidoff. How does Davidoff uh, maintain the stability and flavor for so long over time? Since so, nothing tastes like it did back in 2015. Is that what it yeah. yeah. So, so that's the thing. Limited production. Mm. You don't see Davidoff making millions and millions of cigars of something. You know, you know, everyone who knows me knows my favorite cigar is Davidoff Millennium Toro. Since 18 years, when Eladio first gave me that cigar, it wasn't even a production. I fell in love with it. To this day, my first cigar, 365 days, is a Millennium Toro. I just like that size. And that's what you're paying for. That, listen, the Davidoff, you know, people say it's expensive, but if you look at what, you, what they're providing, if you're a long-time smoker, then it's worth every penny. I'm a big fan of Davidoff. If I, if I, if I, for whatever reason, if I couldn't smoke my own cigars, I'm only smoking Davidoff's. And it's, it's because I'm a consistency guy. I want quality, you know, I want, I want what I want and that's all there's to it. So there's no, you know, year after year, there are changes in the same cigar. And that's what, you know, I tell people all the time, if you ever smoke a first Davidoff, Write down whatever you know. You don't need to be a fucking expert. Write down what you taste and come back fucking a year later. Buy that same cigar. It's going to be the same thing. Mm. So, you know, Davidoff's is not mass production cigars. Yeah. Aside from the Millennium, what else do you like to smoke with Davidoff? What, what other lines do you like? I, I, I really like, believe it or not, uh, Yamasa. 
I like yeah, Yamasa. Yeah. I like yeah. you know, okay. and, and that's a that's probably one of the most underrated cigar among smokers. Hmm. Dude, I've been singing that phrase for what at least for a year now, year and a half. So I agree with you on that one. Yeah. And again, you know, like you know, like right now, if I didn't have this, like go, I, oh, I couldn't smoke because I have my daughter's car. But you know, I would light up, you know, probably an Rosario. You know, even though it's mild, but it's so much flavor. And you know, that's a, today's smokers; they don't understand the classicness of that kind of stuff. Oh, it didn't get me buzz. No, what the fuck? It's not. Go do fucking snort a coke if you want buzz. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So it's it's very different. Gotcha. Churcho, uh, have you ever tried the Oro? Oro, so I think we talked about it. Yeah. Millennium every morning, Oro, <laughs> last Sunday of the month. Mm. I smoke 12 Oros a year. Gotcha. Now I'm panicking because they don't have the Eladia Oros. I only have like 24 or 25 Oros left. Damn. So I'm like, you know, little kid on Take fucking down. Sunday night that you got to yeah, go to right. school in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it for questions. Yeah. All right, real quick then, since we're not going to do a lot of the TV and movie talk. You guys watching um, Shogun? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just started Shogun last night, man. I'm like three or four episodes, episodes two. in. That shit's good, man. It's so good. It's so good. And like, I can only pick up like see, one, one see, word in Japanese. What's that? See, Kalen, the benefit of you being Democrat, you got time. Us Republican don't have fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking you know watch TV. I don't even know how to turn my motherfucking TV on. <laughs> <laughs> that, see, that's the problem with the, with QAnon and y'all Republicans, man. Y'all don't even know how to work the technology y'all complain about. Yeah, exactly. But we work them. That's why we don't pay attention to that. <laughs> Breaking news to me is like six months later. Oh. That was great. Oh nah, man, you need, you need to relax and unwind a little bit, man. Get some Japanese culture in your life. That's hilarious. You know, I, I do relax. You know, I my my downtime, like when I leave my shop, I shut my phone off. Right? Oh, no, that makes sense. So yeah, I yeah, get yeah. up, I get up every morning, four o'clock in the morning. Right? <laughs> and you know, if it's like today was cold and rainy, but when it's nice. Right behind my house, I have a river, and I have furniture that I sit there, me and my dog, and I smoke cigars. My wife makes me an Indian tea, and I have a good time. I spend like two, three hours. I don't even take my phone there. You out there barefoot by the river? Yeah, the absolutely. 100%. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Sons, you, have to, you have to shop every day, Sons? Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Except Sunday. Sunday belongs to my kids and my God. Nice. There you go. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah, no yeah. Oreo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when I say my kids, my Oreo is in included in it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm in the Oreo and the Oreo is a cigar on Sunday. That's no, no. Yeah, last but... Sunday of the month. I'm the not welcome with you. I don't have Republican yeah. paying my bills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, I can't even lie. They are taking care of me out here. So, yeah. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have this house. I wouldn't have the, the cars sitting in front of me. I wouldn't have any of that. So I can't. I can't right. lie. Next lifetime, I want to come back and there's a fucking dog or <laughs> fucking illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I see that pup right there, man. No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> you, you see what's happening in New York? They get $3,000 debit card Jeez. a month. Free rent. 
free food. They complain that they live in this fucking hotel that it costs you a normal day six, seven hundred dollars a night. And they're living there and they're complaining. They get fucking yeah. breakfast, lunch, dinner, fucking video games, this and that, cell phone. Top of that, three thousand dollar debit card. They didn't want the food stamps because this is embarrassing to them. What the fuck? What am I doing wrong? That's because you don't live in New York. You don't have to spend, spend what, three thousand dollars for a closet. No, no, this is they giving it to illegals, government, taxpayer oh. dollars. <laughs> Do the work. What? Who's gonna do the work? Well, a Republican. Yeah, where you think he's coming from? <laughs> Taxpayers' <laughs> dollar. Taxpayers' <laughs> dollars. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Don't give me any trouble, Scott. <laughs> no, fine. We speak the truth. Fuck them liberals. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're mm -hmm. for this. I know we're voting for this month uh, in in November. You know, for me, listen. Let's not go there because you know what? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the online. We'll be the online. Let's just do the online. No, I'm not worried about people. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about people. I speak my mind. <laughs> listen. Okay. That's why. Democrat, that's why you're here. Listen. Democrat ran states. Go look at it. Do research, and I come back two months from now and look at all the Democrat run states. They shitholes. Corruption. And the Republican states are not. All of them. All of, all of those politicians. I'm not Democrat or Republican. All of them are assholes. You ask me. All you you greedy. you have to when you when you become sanctuary state and you do not want to take what you agree on. And you want to make it blame that it's somebody else's problem? I got a problem with that. No, that's fair. That's fair. I get that. Now, New York City mayor said, oh, we don't want it. But yeah, they said, oh, welcome all. Then keep them. How is it that, how is it that students, kids can't attend the school because they need the space for illegal to sleep and live? So they said, well, COVID, you got trained, so now you could do online schooling. Would you want that? If it's gonna help people, yeah. I'm sorry? I said if it's gonna help people, yeah. The same way you got the, the, the same mentality, like you would help like somebody that's homeless. The same Republican yeah, listen, mentality, you could listen, say, oh, listen, up, put yourself up by your bootstraps, listen, right? Listen, listen, if you're American, if you're American veteran, take every fucking thing, not illegals. Everything. They, if you give veterans every fucking thing that they need, I'm willing to pay more taxes. Not that I don't, but I'm saying I'll pay more. I got, I got yeah. Veterans, I got veterans are fucking sleeping in the street, and these fucking illegals come into this country, right? And they get everything. Where is the fucking justice? This is America. Can you do anything these motherfuckers do in this country, in their country? No, you can't. Don't fucking put two bullets in your head. Um, I can see on that because you got a lot of those people that are working on the farms. They're working and cleaning and, and, and doing everything for all these other people that other people don't want to do. They don't want to do the work. So listen, if, if they, listen, really listen, work, the, listen, the greatest thing, listen, the greatest thing about American people, if these motherfuckers are not doing it, we will do it. It's that end of it. Right now, look at the new generation. My own kids, they don't even bring their dishes down. Why? Oh, we have a, you know, pounds. guess what? <laughs> That's today's generation. But look at our generation. I've been working since I was 13 years old. Why? Because that's how we were trained. So guess yeah, what? If this illegal, to, and again, look, if you're illegal and you come to this country to better yourself, God bless you. This motherfucker is coming in crime, beating up police officers. This fucking, did you see the fucking Texas border? They fucking stomped these fucking guys. My thing is, why the fuck they have AR-15s? Just fucking spray and run. <laughs> Done. People are taking those AR-15s that, that are Republicans and they're shooting up the schools. Yeah, but they're that's... 
listen, 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 listen. If you're American, you could comply with American justice system, American rules, American regulations are there. If you, if you listen, if you come outsider and you dis disturb the peace of American people, I have a problem with, but you're an American and you fucking go berserk, you go postal, then guess what? There is a justice system designed for it. This motherfuckers beat up a cop and the fucking fat fuck Democrat fucking prosecutor let him out same night and he's flipping fingers at American system. I got a problem with that. If I'm there, I'm cutting that motherfucker's throat. You got to show me. I'm sorry. I got a problem. I got a problem with both of them. I like to me. That's the whole. Hey, so you guys sit on uh Saka's lap at PCA yet? <laughs> I want that picture. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. I was the only one at PCA today, to my knowledge, on the stream. Well played, well played, well played. I did, well played. I did, I did have a cigar. I did have a cigar with him on Wednesday. At one of the yeah, I saw him in his in his throne. And uh, what I will say is that Sokka and Sanj both share their affinity for watches because we talked okay. more about watches than we did cigars. Yeah, well, I hope so. For an hour, well, Sokka, Sokka just made a watch <laughs> with the tobacco. Did it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So, 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 so he, had the, he had the tobacco in the in the in the face, right? Yeah. Lafferty had that made. That's yeah. One of one that he had made yeah. from his guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, two weeks ago, and David Lafferty was here. Yeah. That 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 subject came, came up, up because, because I looked at his watch and I was like, David, is that the tobacco on it? And he's like, Yeah. And then Steve went in for an hour and a half. Yeah. Is that a one of one? That's a, is, is that uh, that watch is a one of one. So the guy, yeah, I think they're gonna make a couple more. The, the guy who makes Lafferty's watches, right? He he bumped him up on the list essentially for his timepiece because he was willing to send him tobacco to experiment with it. Was the story that Dave told me? Yeah. Yeah. So they they uh, David was here a week and a half ago. Show me the watch, beautiful, right? And he knows that, you know, they, Lafferty knows I, I collect watches. Um, so right now it's just one, but I think they're making a couple dozen of them. Hmm. Oh, for uh, for somebody that you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stuck is a great guy. I, I love those it. guys. Yeah, I love those I, I like Dave, too. Dave is mad cool, man. I like Dave a lot, too. Yeah, how are they yeah. keeping that? Like, did he explain how they're keeping the tobacco like in there so it's like it's preserved and it's strong enough to, to be explained? Yeah, so, so, this is nothing new. So, if you look mm. at and I believe 1998, Rolex made a watch called Havana, and the dial is actually tobacco. Hmm. Nice. So, okay. so the, the, the part is. They preserve that tobacco, right? And and they use this, uh, it's some sort of material. It's almost like a epoxy, but it's like a thousand times stronger than epoxy. And they put it in some metal, right. and you won't even see it. So if you actually, you know, move the dial casing, you remove the glass, remove the hands and everything, you could actually pick that up just wow. like any other dial. <laughs> the beautiful thing about Saka's watches are, there, you know, there's three holes. It's a tabion. So, you know, it's like a nice, nice holes on tobacco. Very unique. The 1997 Rolex Havana, it's just a dial. It's just a, all tobacco. That's so cool. That's so yeah. dope. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful one. I wish it had a little bit more weight to it. I don't know if you... Uh, yeah, I held it. it, it, it I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yep. It's it's very lightweight, you know. To me, I like watches with a little bit of weight on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta have some drip on your watch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said you gotta have some drip on your watch. You gotta have some some blade to it. What's your favorite in your collection right now? What's what's your like your go to that you that's your all time favorite out of all your collection? On what watches? Yeah, yeah. I really don't have one. You know, it depends on what I'm wearing, where I'm going. 
if we'll something move. if something is you know classy event then i'm gonna put a classy watch if something you know where there's a lot of youngsters then i'm gonna put a little bit you know something with the bling on it so to me i mean you know i i really i'm at that point i just posted a watch that you know i bought that 10 years ago it's a patrick philip well perpetual watch it's on my instagram page it just popped up in those uh memories uh facebook memories yeah, yeah. and i posted it you know yeah <laughs> I don't know. I think Hound Dog's gonna fall asleep on Roger. <laughs> <laughs> when he passes that time, Roger got him. He got the cup in the shoulders though. He got the working man shoulders. He'll be all right. <laughs> 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 now we can wrap it up. This thing, wrap it. Just, this thing is just sugar. Dude, I, I, can't, I cannot wait for, for John to get that cigar, man. I'm I'm so hyped to see him do a review on that shit, dude. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be like a kid in a candy shop, man. I'm so I'm yeah, so man. Yeah, so if if the if the if the Zodiac Killer samples come in on Monday, then I'll ship it out Monday. If not, it should be here. No, it shipped out already. It, it, it just clear custom on Thursday. So you know, I'm hoping Monday. Once it clears custom, normally it takes three to four days. So I'm hoping that it's here. If not, if it don't come by Tuesday, I'm going to send you this Tuesday. And then if it comes, then I'll send it again. Okay. But yeah, I'm thank sorry? you for, for that. And, uh, I said, I know we were about to roll out of here. And John was thanking you for that too. But it's, it's like the fact that you took that idea and you really made something with the message to it, with the, with the uh, Zodiac Killer. The fact that you did it that fast, man, and you came you, up with something You're breaking so up. Like I that, didn't man. hear nothing. All I hear is ping, ping. <laughs> Somebody play with that, must, that can hear me. That, like, that must be the fucking Obama phone, you prick. <laughs> 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 that was good. I can't even say anything. That was good. That was good. But no, what thank you for the Zodiac Killer, man. Thank you for the Zodiac well, Killer, man, and, and actually putting that into production for us. He was just saying thank yeah, you for making course. the zodiac. Yeah. I mean, look, you know, it's just it's just fun. To me, I love aggravating people. <laughs> you know? I love it. And to me, you know, <laughs> I just fucking it, it, it's a beautiful concept. And then, you know, when I was listening to your guys live and I said, Man, this is a great idea, right? So, you know, mm -hmm. I said, let's roll with it. So, you know, how do we Sweet. combat this whole fucking thing? First of all, price. Second, the shape, right? And it's it's six six and a half inches by fifty six ring gauge. You know, and and we're gonna put a band just to fuck it. I told Matt, I said just to satisfy you, I'm gonna put a band. <laughs> and I'm, so yeah, the band is already in production. It's a you know that's Chinese red. That's particular deep red. With the mm -hmm. gold, everything's with gold. So the face gonna be gold. Zodiac killer is in gold. The My box God. has all the symbols, and then our fucking face, the industry killer face, right on it. Hell Badass man. man. Hell yeah. 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 Yeah, man. The high the tower, dude. It's it's very high gloss box. I mean, you know, we're doing it. <laughs> and we wow. want to release it in October. So a few things, you know, October is my birthday, you know, it's a Halloween, and then, you know, everybody comes out November, December with all this, so say, hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I want to remain about $10. $10 a stick. Well, that is now the, the number one cigar I'm looking forward to this year. Yes, sir. <laughs> I appreciate it, Sarge. Thank you for, for joining us, man. Thank you for being up here, man. Give My it pleasure. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 1 23 a.m. I still got 45 minute ride, maybe an hour, because I'm fucking blind as a bat. Jesus. <laughs> let's, let's, let's hope that I'm not fucking banging somebody up. Go <laughs> yeah, on, don't do that. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you back here in uh, two weeks.
Appreciate Thank y'all. Appreciate the monitoring today. Always. Thank Happy you. to do it. Thank you, Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Good night, guys. God bless. See y'all later. All right, fellas. Thanks, man. 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 Good luck to you. Man.